Mars and Mike Cal the show. It's 1025 the bone. Good morning, everybody. It's Halloween. It's uh what is it, Thursday? Yeah. October 31st, 2024. Mm-hmm. Company alive. Mm-hmm. Everybody's all dressed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I went as a sad New York fan. Oh, yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. What a great up. game though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Well, not really unbelievable. I, mean, I called it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I mean, uh, did watch that game. Yeah. You know, it was good. I didn't watch all of it, but I, I kept checking back and forth. Oh, I watched it all, all the way down to the last strike. I had to. <laughs> yeah. If I had money on it, I would have to pay attention to yeah. it. But, yeah. I didn't think they were going to win. I mean, going into last night's game, I didn't think. I thought they had one, one little rush, but uh, I, I thought they were going to get sweep, swept really after the first game. Who, Dodgers? No, the Yankees. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After the first game, I thought they were going to get swept. This, yeah. is, this is how I know that I'm now getting old, is I was watching that game, and the Dodgers closing pitcher comes in, and I was like, he's one out of the way. I'm like, what a moment. This kid is like on the field at Yankee Stadium about to win the World Series against the Yankees. Yeah. You know, you're the closeout pitcher. This and kid. It, yeah, 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 because he's like twenty three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's unbelievable. And like, Some of those wins when they walk out, I go, eh, "This is a joke." Like that's a little right. kid. But I was like, "What a cool moment!" This yeah. is like probably his dream when he was six years old. Sure, yeah. Well, how about did you see the stuff with Volpe? Yeah, Volpe was, Volpe at, the was at the parade when yeah. he was a kid. Him yeah. holding a sign, wearing the Yankees uniform, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, that's my big takeaway from sports now. Oh, look at this kid. How great is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love, I love uh, whatever watching this. Celtics and uh, one of the guys on the Celtics uh, is 38 years old and they're like the old man yeah. is that oh, whatever, yeah. the, the grizzled vet I'm just like what a moment for that kid way to go kid <laughs> <laughs> the Dodgers are your World Series champions few yes people still watching baseball dodge up dodge up dodge is that up. what it is dodge no. up. I love LA no oh, yeah I love that song oh yeah yep. did you guys know uh, Magic Johnson from Los Angeles oh. big big fan <laughs> Was he there? <laughs> he kept, well, like, he, every time I turned he's on, he's part go, owner. Yeah, they kept showing him over and over yeah, and over. Yeah. You know he's got AIDS. Oh, or does he? I don't yeah. think he does. Me either. I think that was a publicity stunt. Boy, that was a good publicity stunt, though. I, don't, I mean, because they scared everybody. Yeah. Everybody scared was like, I'm everybody. not having sex anymore. He's and a- and everyone was like, he's not playing against us. He's not sweating. Right, them, right. Is he? right. Yeah. He's the one guy that beat it, though, from the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he, well, uh, do you think he was misdiagnosed? I don't know. Or do you think, because Tommy Morrison was on the show and he says that he was misdiagnosed and he's dead. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, and I don't know what he died of, but he said he was misdiagnosed and then later on he died. But uh, but Magic Johnson just got richer and richer and richer. It seems right. that everyone that said they had AIDS back then is now gone from AIDS. Hmm. Except if Magic Johnson. <laughs> they brought me in a room and, was, and we're like, we're going to tell everybody you have AIDS. But we're going to give you a lot of money. And I went, well, what's the difference? I can't bang anybody if, right, I, got, yeah. you know, if I got AIDS. Or he had banged so many people by that point. He's like, yeah, I'm done banging. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Or he's got so much money, he's the only one that has the cure. But also. Mm-hmm. Or the treatment. Yeah. If you have enough money, and I'm not even talking about saying I'll give you this much money to sleep with me. If you have enough money, girls will sleep with you because you have AIDS. What is that? And you have enough money. They will. Girls will sleep with you because you have AIDS? Oh, yeah. There's weirdos out there, man. Think about all the you girls that love serial killers. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't... I, that doesn't... I get it, but it's it doesn't make risky. sense to me. It's yeah. risky. It's, you know... Exciting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. weird. Well, there was... Uh, uh, there was, like, gangs that that was the thing. They had to sleep with the dude with AIDS to get in the gang. The oh. girls would have to. <laughs> yeah, you never I, heard that? No. Oh, yeah. Like, I believe yeah. you. I just jumped know. in, and then you had to sleep with AIDS Phil to get in the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, why would they want you yeah. to do that? You got a whole gang filled with AIDS victims. So, yeah, well, I knew a girl that slept with a guy because he had herpes. Well, yeah. Slept with him because he had well, herpes? Not because, but she, she said, had it too. She said it was worth it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that, really? What band was he in? No, it wasn't oh, in the band. No, no, no. She's like, oh yeah, he's got herpes, but it was so worth it. I'm like, what? what? Yeah. Oh yeah. no. I mean, herpes you can protect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you have it forever. Yeah, but I yeah, mean, like, you get it. You, it's, you got yeah. it. That's true. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, so Morrison tested negative for HIV four times in January of 2007. Uh, in July tw- uh, 2007, New York Times reported Morrison had uh, took two HIV tests in 2007, and the third specifically, uh, the blah blah blah, implied the negative results were not based on Morrison's blood. 
Oh, so he used somebody else's blood? Maybe, yeah. Uh, mm. Weird. Uh. Death. Uh, let's see. Uh, in August 2013, Morrison's mother, Diana, said that Tommy had, quote, full-blown AIDS. <laughs> oh. And it was in his final days. <laughs> Thanks, uh, she also stated that Morrison had been bedridden for over a year. Morrison's wife, Trisha, allegedly did not believe Morrison had AIDS. He yelled at me. I yeah. said he had AIDS, and he said, you're an idiot. You don't know I have AIDS HIV, and I go, okay. Do you remember how he said it to you? No. His voice was all ruined and stuff. Yeah, it was gross. Mm. I think like, my, even talking to him on the phone, I was like, ugh. In his defense, though, I think I said, uh, like, Norm MacDonald, uh, what do you, what do you, got the AIDS there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> oh. Listen, if you have AIDS or don't have AIDS, you don't want people to ask you if you have AIDS. No. Yeah. 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 No, true. unless you lost so much weight, they go, what do you got, AIDS? <laughs> right, right, yeah. yeah. Like Tony Mayberry. Yeah. Yeah, who does not have AIDS, by the way. But no. every time mm. I see him, I ask Ian Beckles if he has AIDS. Speaking of AIDS, I got this package in the mail that I'm afraid to open. Oh. No. Why? You think it has AIDS in it? Mm. Is it from China? No. It looks like uh, a stack of Columbia House CDs. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike, listen to my demo. Yeah. It's from Eric, mm. wellness education specialist at the Hardy Correctional Institution. Oh. In Bowling Green, Florida. Oh. Have Joe open it. All right. Joe, will you open it? Oh, that's uh, anthrax. Come on. I'll do it. Nah. It got sent to your house? No, it got okay. sent to the station. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I'd be more worried about that. Yeah, it oh. definitely looks like some sort of CD. Oh, no, it feels like a book. Oh, maybe a book. Maybe he wrote a book. Yeah. Huh? Oh. My time and Hardy. Or maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a Bible with a uh, rock hammer in it. Yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> Carved out. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Salvation is within. Looks like a series of return letters. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know what they're in. Oh. Yeah. Wow. He made some cards. Oh. He's doing uh, time and he's making greeting cards. I like that. Yeah. It's perfect perfect timing for the holidays. Yeah. He made little cartoons. Oh. He's an artiste. Veterans Day. What is this one for? Oh, it smells. Yeah. What is that? Right? That's that weird smell. It smells like AIDS. I don't oh, smell anything. That's nah, it sm- it smells like it has like a weird paper smell. Yeah. I don't know. There's no... Where do you get paper from in prison? By the way, you just put paper from the AIDS prison on your face. I didn't so you know, yeah, you <laughs> touched your nose with it. Yeah. You got so AIDS. It's a bunch of cards. <laughs> Here's a picture of me stabbing my neighbor and yeah. getting arrested. <laughs> oh, no. This is oh, why I'm in here. Yeah. Here's me robbing a bank. There's a letter. Prepare to die, scumbag. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Mike, I hope you didn't just smell this. <laughs> Dear Bone Crew, mm. I am Kenneth Sutherland, an incarcerated, retired, disabled veteran. I am also the director of the Hardy County Wellness Leisure Program Card Club. I love Hardys. I listen to the radio every day through, through the day when I can. Good morning, uh, Kenneth. Uh, I wake up with your crew at 6 a.m. You make me laugh and sometimes cry, but at times I disagree with you, but you get me to think. Good. My prime reason for contacting you and the crew is simply to introduce our group to you and send you an occasions card to share with your crew just to get you to smile. Enclosed, you'll find hand-colored cards designed and drawn by members of the group. We offer on a regular basis cards sent to all nine of the state of the veteran of this is not written very well, state of veteran nursing home. So anyway, the members of our team receive nothing for donating this work and usually uh, I don't know. If you're interested in continuing to receive cards, please uh, let me know. Okay, that was very nice. Kenneth P. Sutherland, K60706, Hardy mm. Correctional mm. I'd love to know what he is in for. Yeah. Not that it matters. He seems like he's going to be there a while. Oh, I remember. What is his last? What does it say? Sutherland? Like Kiefer? He sent a bunch of cards to different people <laughs> in radio that had anthrax. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's how. It up. That's how. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know they give him crayons in prison. That. Yeah, that's interesting. those are nicely done. Mm. They, they did. I don't know. If I was a veteran and I got a... Uh, well, I wonder what he did that he's a disabled veteran in jail. Yeah. You know? Colored outside the lines, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> I mean, possibility. you know, you, you're a veteran, you go and you do that stuff, and then something happens and you yeah. do something bad, and then you're in jail. That seems like a big one to Hardy County, right? Isn't that where they have the electric chair? Oh, I don't know. Either. Could I be. Think that, I think that's Leon County, Tallahassee. Oh, 
No, it's not in Jacksonville. Maybe. There's, I know there's a big federal prison in our state prison right in Tallahassee. Mm. Uh, one of the weird challenges of having the position I do on this show is having to ask people things. Um, I had to ask Gio a question yesterday. Was that confusing to you as it was to me? Um, yeah, a little bit. I <laughs> wasn't know if you were asking me to do something or if you were <laughs> like, and I was confused. I was like, well, you, I guess I always feel like when I ask anybody on the show a question, their their first uh, thing is always Jesus. Now I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Monday night uh, Hooters. I don't know if you've heard the commercial. Hooters is uh, doing the Monday night football watch party. At one buck place where they do the uh, the practice where the bucks practice, so I got invited to go, and I wanted to ask Gio if because he's a big bucks fan if he wanted to go, but I didn't want to ask it in a way that he felt like he had to go, and the way I I worded it, it sounded like I was saying would you go instead of me? Mm. That, you know what that's I'm exactly yeah. what I thought. Like yeah. I'm being I'm being voluntold that I need to go oh. to this event. Oh, what do you? How do you? I mean, it's pretty easy. No, I know, but I didn't want him to feel like if I said to him, "Hey, Geo, do you do you want to go?" He's gonna be like, "No, I don't." But now I gotta tell him yes. You know, I yeah. get that feeling with people a lot. That's exactly how I. But felt. here's right. that, what I would do: I would go, "Geo, I got invited from Hooters to go out to the one buck place to watch the do the watch party and stuff. Everything. Do you want to go out there with me? Still though, still, still. Because if you said no. to me, my first thought is, no, I don't want to go out with her. Okay. Yeah, Are you interested? But then I go, I go, but he's being so nice, and he's offering this to me, and then I think that he really wants me to go, because I'm just telling you what's going on in my mm-hmm. mind. You guys you are weird. Me, well, you know, you, you ask weird. me. That's very normal. That Calvin, is normal, right? To think of other people. <laughs> no, no, no. Not to think of other people. <laughs> just to be like having this argument in your head and stuff. I'll, I can, I've got the conversation here. He says, do you have any interest in watching Monday Night Football from one buck on Monday? I said, for like what? The show? <laughs> Sounds sleepy. <laughs> he goes, no, I got invited and I don't want to go. Well, yeah, that ruins it all. Because then it totally sounds like. Now it's I don't want to, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm see if you want to come. Uh, I don't blame you if you don't want to go. <laughs> see? Oh, um, he, gave you, he gave you every I know out. you're a big Bucks fan, so I thought it'd be cool to go to one buck. Um, I go, well. To represent the show, I'll go, but both my daughters have soccer games that night. He goes, no, I don't need that. I just wanted you to make sure you weren't, oh, that sounds cool. You should have invited me. Yeah. So I was was a little confused. I'm like, if you want me to go, like, to represent the show, I will go. No, and you know what? It wasn't even my idea. It was Olivero's idea. Yeah. Olivero called me, and he said, do you want to invite Gio? And I go, I don't know. Do we? And he goes, well, I know he's a big Bucks fan. And I go, yeah, okay. I'll ask him because, you know. Uh, yeah, it sounds fun. It's cool to go to the facility. It sucks because it's Monday night. The only yeah. thing that sucks about it is that we're going to be out late, so I'm just going to take a nap. And- the first thing I thought was, man, that's going to be a long night because mm-hmm. those games get over 11 o'clock. Well, I'm not staying for the whole thing. I'll yeah. probably go to the half. Oh, you're like, back in. I have to go. I, I don't have to, but I want to go. Right. But um, I, I want to go support Hooters and Bud Light and, yeah. and the Bucks, and I think it'll be kind of cool to watch them out there. I just wish it wasn't on a school night. You know what I mean? Right, right. That's, I didn't that's go, a tough part. I didn't go to Godwin's uh, foundation thing because it was it's during the week. Broke, it's too hard because he broke his ankle. No, not because he broke <laughs> his ankle. I think that that have probably been better. He'd yeah. been more chill, you know. But uh, it seemed like it was a great turnout. Like everybody yeah. was there, you know. Yeah, I enjoy going to those things. I know. I just uh, the ones that are on weeknights though. That's kill. It's, they kill. It's tough. It's hard for us to do anything uh, during the week. Mm. It's not fun. My wife. <laughs> my wife goes. I pick my daughter up from school at 4.30, and she texts me, and she goes, let's go get sushi right now. And I go, I'm not eating dinner at 4.30 in the, at night. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Then by that time I got home at 4.45, she's like, all right, let's go now. And I went, all right, let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because that's the only way to go there, eat dinner, be home, and go back to bed, you know, but by 8 o'clock. Why didn't you eat the uh, mac and cheese that was in the oh, oven? Oh, it looked hairy. It looked delicious. Uh, <laughs> ain't that a sight? I don't eat anything with a beard. <laughs> yep. yeah. It was pretty awful. It's so funny because I opened the oven, and there it was, and it looked fine. It looked fantastic. And there then was I got no close. smell? There was no smell at all. It smelled like mac and cheese. Then I then I got close and I saw all the hair on it. And I went, uh, 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 the gray beard. Yeah, so gross. Mm. It was pretty disgusting. Yeah, I uh, we forgot it. For those of you who don't know what's happening, we put it in the oven on 
Sunday and forgot it. I forgot it was there. I Until told yesterday, Until, Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. No, he remembered the day. That is true. He well, remembered yeah, like he the day again. after and then just but left. I, I, when I remembered, I told Amanda and she forgot to take it out. You know, we don't really use that oven a lot. So. Mm. Oh, now you have so many ovens. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying we don't really cook. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, they're Uber Eats family. Yeah, we're, yeah. we certainly are. Um, somebody made that comment yesterday and they go, would you, you left it in there because it was your 11th oven that you had? Why is that? Uh, is anyone doing anything for Halloween today? No, but I found out an interesting thing okay. last night. What is that? That I'm going to be the only one home until eight o'clock. Why? Oh. Why is working? Yeah, normally, you know, my son and my wife, they like set up out front and they have all the stuff and my wife brings my dog out there in a tutu and mm-hmm. you know does the whole thing whatever oh, yeah and now you're just the weird guy by himself i go i have football to watch yeah. i can't yeah. be opening the door and so i go i'm turning all the lights off yeah she goes yeah just put the bowl out there and i go i don't know we'll see see how many people show up and i might just throw some candy in their face so my problem is uh if i put the bowl if I put the bowl out there, uh, you're right. That wasn't creepy. <laughs> yeah. oh, she caught my eye. Mid sentence. She uh, caught my eye. Uh, man, I didn't say. Uh, you did. Uh, you went. Uh, you went uh, like this. You went. Uh, man, the Oh, uh, it's different than. Uh, 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 um, <laughs> my <laughs> Carmen's impression of you gets closer and closer yeah. every time. <laughs> I don't hate everybody. Yeah, uh, Carmen becomes me, and I become Carmen. Yeah. She uh, and I hate it here. Amanda Pepper. Yep. <laughs> Very nice, Carmen. Very nice. Well what are we talking about? Halloween? Yes. I don't know what I'm I, I'm gonna be here alone also and I don't like it. Do mm. you wanna come trick or treat at my house? No, I don't want to come trick or treat oh, at all. Sorry. No. You wanna come to the Dunedin Brewery with me tonight, Michael? For for <laughs> Weezer Ween, what yeah. is it called? Yeah. Uh Weezer Hollow Weezer. Hollow Weezer three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, you know what I do, Joe. I would love to do that. Yeah, but I'm not. Okay. Dunning Brewery is a great spot. I love yeah. that place. I you're know. lucky that you're doing that, Joe. Otherwise, you'd be over here handing out candy. <laughs> 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 you fall and told to. Yeah, that's all right. Now Joe. I'm going sleep in Ralphie's hut when I'm done. No, <laughs> we got a whole second floor for you. Oh, Joe, I don't. You make it like I make Joe do. I, Joe, have you ever cleaned my car? No. Thank you. Oh, Enough said, right? one <laughs> thing that he has. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Have you ever had to search through his car for something he lost? I believe so. <laughs> Plus, I feel like when Mike's car gets dirty, he just trades it in for a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> early. <laughs> Joe, early. have you ever had to, I don't know, take a box of his feces anywhere? <laughs> Well, yes. oh, Joe, that makes it. I got a, I got some of my dog's feces in the refrigerator. Oh, really oh, drop that in off in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, we had to get, get it a, nice. We had to get a sample from uh, from uh, Hazel. Dog poo goes in the fridge. Uh, macaroni and cheese stays <laughs> in the <laughs> oven for <laughs> five days. Yeah. 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 Know. You got to prioritize. Yeah. I bet that macaroni and cheese was delicious too because it even uh, looked good while it was while it had hair. Yeah, on cut it. a little hair off. Yeah. You'd be fine. Well, <laughs> it's probably still worth it. <sighs> kind of like the herpes guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what were you saying before the poop in the mud? It was something I had that you made me think of, Joe. Uh, Halloween. Halloween. Joe's candy. going to Halloweezer tonight at Hollow the Weezer. Brewery. He will, Joe will be singing with the band. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. What are we doing, Mr. Brightside? And uh, what else? No. El no. Scorcho. We're doing El Scorcho. El uh, Scorcho, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Who is the band? Uh, I'm playing with uh, Matt Simmons, uh, and uh, he has a band called the uh, WTF Weezer. Trippy family. Right, right. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, it's not his normal band, but he does it for this. That sounds fun. Yeah, so it's going to be a good time. Okay. Are you dressing up? No. Oh, I probably, Joe. Well, I mean, Joe. Like, Halloween. Joe, yeah. out of everyone that's uh, on the show, you're the dress up guy. Like, you should be the guy that dresses up. Some All sort right. of pirate, something. All right, you talk me into it. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, mean, you've got, I mean, at least wear like your uh, uh, marching band outfit or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your Sergeant Pepper yeah. shirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I could do that. Okay. I'm in. There you go. Nothing was better than uh when Joe and Spanish were dressed like um like wooden soldiers. Right. And uh <laughs> and I was dressed like Santa Claus and we all went to Eddie V's together. <laughs> Just dressed up like that. It was great. <laughs> oh man. I feel like I, oh oh I can't talk about that on the air. I'll tell you off the air. Oh, it's really funny. No, it's not, all right. It's not it was just no, nah, it's not worth it. Mm. Um it's a hint. It's a little hint. No, nah, it wasn't it's nothing good. Right. It's nothing good. If it was something sexy, I would tease it even more, <laughs> but it's it's not. I have all this week been surprised that it's Halloween. 
Yes. Yeah. Every can't. day. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's Halloween tomorrow. Yeah. It's like, Halloween I'll, today. I'll either see something or somebody's dressed up and I go, oh, yeah, Halloween. Like, I, I don't did... know, for some reason this year, it has just really gone past me. Yeah. October has flown by. I did wear a little skeleton shirt I today. See. Oh, it looks very wow. lovely. Just, yeah. I got it. I got these matching sets from Walmart last year. They're just like skeleton pajamas. Mm hmm. Um, so like they're a great like last minute just throw it on now I'm a skeleton and I didn't huh. wear the pants you know my wife is uh, going as a uh, cave woman oh. and I go are you gonna do the unibrow will there, will there be pictures of that <laughs> are you gonna do the unibrow and she's like no huh? and then she was like I'm gonna have like uh, like blood here and this and that and I go caveman blood I go what you get in a fight with a saber tooth tiger <laughs> no yeah. that's how she the ate? cavemen treated their women and she goes I'm still gonna be sexy and I go well, how could you not be <laughs> yeah <laughs> Chad is deciding right now if he's going to dress up or not for school. Yeah. I said, he's going to give himself eyebrows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she go in there with just no one thick, Groucho. Thick, Groucho thick eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> you get, never mind. You no, no, it. that's yeah. a good one. <laughs> you guys are jerks. What's he going to do? I have uh, the onesie I wore to your house a few years ago. Uh huh. Um, I think he might wear that. That's adorable. Yeah. Yeah, just dress up, just fun, you know. Mm. He's a PE teacher. Is it weird best. whenever your boyfriend can fit in your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Uh, you're, uh, no, is that actually, is that yeah, I, yeah, I can see you, Calvin. Your dumb face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it. No. I, I say stuff and then I put my shoulders up and look at Gio and, and wait. Like, wait for the response. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I bought this onesie from Walmart. It was on sale for five dollars. It's like a double X. It does. Doesn't even fit me, but it was five dollars, mm. and it's a big pink. So he's gonna dress as you and go to school. No, oh. <laughs> he's a jerk. It's a, big, it? it's a flamingo. It's a big pink flamingo onesie, but it's like a double X. It's huge. It fit Mike. Oh, it would fit. It would fit Calvin. <laughs> that would have been more appropriate. If we're showing <laughs> how big something is, <laughs> that's like, yeah. it's, oh. yeah, I mean, it's huge. It's, it's so big. It's, it's, I mean, it's me and That's Jack. Rude. Can, me and Jack can get in it together, okay? Uh, we, had it a, was, we had a girl in high school named Kelly Hogan. No, mm -hmm. nope. and she was massive. <laughs> okay, not just not like just fat. She was like uh, big she had, farm fed giant girl. She, like yeah, them. but she had big hair, big <laughs> everything, and she was six feet tall. She oh, was just was bad. Yeah, and she was a super nice girl. And uh, we used to weigh things in Kelly Hogan's. We'd look at things. We were like, "That's like three yeah, Kelly Hogan's. Yeah. And uh, I, at the high school reunion, the hottest one there. Oh, really? Oh. I don't know what Not she did. Not fat anymore or anything? She was, I don't really know how fat she was just in big. high school as much as she was just big and she had big hair and everything about her. She's presented large, you right. know? And then now, uh, still a tall girl, but skinny, very pretty in the face. And I'm like, I don't know what happened here. Married a black dude, though. Tip of followed and fell right in line. Right. And no you right also line. remember things a little bit different. Like in no. high school, like someone who was big, they were huge. And then you see pictures and you're like, oh, they weren't really that big. Right, right, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like the, your imagination, it makes everything, it exaggerates everything. Real quick, I want to go back to a comment you made. So all uh, big white girls go out with black guys? <laughs> Not all of them. Oh. I'm just saying. Some is, of them. is that what you guys talk about at your parties? <laughs> <laughs> what, what parties? Your black your face party. party? I've never been to a black face party. <laughs> what is the uh, better outfit? Or Orthodox Jew or Amish? Orthodox Jew. Mm. I don't like the curls, though. Yeah, but it looks like... Uh, like an army. Yeah. Yeah. Like and they tougher <laughs> and crazier. Like I... You know, yeah. My girlfriend in... Uh, excuse me. My ex-fiance bought a computer from an or Orthodox Jew-owned computer store in Manhattan. Okay. And um, Ari Ari Shafir calls them Yiddle Littles. We went to the Yiddle Little store, and we call we, we she called on the phone and argued with them, and they made her bring it down. So she had to unpack a computer and carry it, like I'm talking about an old compact presario, and carry it in a cab over to the place and went inside. So I went with her this time. And they thought that that she brought me. It's they said they're, yeah, they were like, "You brought bodyguard?" And she's like, "No, it was my boyfriend." But they came out like in like they kept coming and coming and coming like from the they, tunnels. Yeah, from the tunnel. They really thought that I was there to fight, so they brought out like fifty of them. And I thought, "Oh boy," um, but no, no, they were very nice. We got our computer situation taken care of. But I I look at them and I think that is dedication to your religion to be to be of this day and age and still walk around. In that uniform, yeah. same thing with the Amish. Amish yeah. are like, we don't care what you think. We're just going to keep dressing in overalls and making hats and all that other stuff. 
And fantastic pies, by the way. Oh, Mike, there's a girl that you might want to follow on Instagram. Oh, yeah? Um, Do I have to say it like this? Yep. (laughs) Well, I mean, you're going to anyway. No, so she moved moved out to the country, just decided she was done with city life, living, whatever, wanted to be a farmer. Yeah. And she had um, a group of Amish men build her house, Uh or her barn dominium. Yep. Bro, this thing is so advanced and just like it is insane. Yeah, if you send it to me, I love that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but they like they put like a water heating system through the floors. So like when she turns her heat on, she only has to turn it on for like a half hour and her barn is heated for oh. a month. Oh. But like the water system cuz it goes through the pipe so it like it's just it's it was very interesting and you were the first person I thought of when I found her. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. I also want to live in a house with 13 refrigerators, but I also want to live in a camper. Listen, I, I want the Amish to build my house. <laughs> my wife made me so happy the other day. I said to her, I go, do you know when we lived in uh, Wesley Chapel, I used to sit in, the, uh, in my office at night while you were sleeping, and I'd look at the, uh, I'd go to Humber.com, and I'd build. build. I've been there. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'd build the Hummer that I wanted, that I couldn't afford, that I really loved, and Right. Blah, blah, blah. And I go, and then I ended up buying three of them, you know, and I loved it. And I said, now I do the same thing with earth roamer. So I'm hoping there's one day that I'm going to be able to buy the earth roamer. And she goes, well, let's look into it now. And I go, okay, oh. it's 1.5 million. No. <laughs> so oh. She's oh. like, yeah, we're not buying that. <laughs> but she did, she did make me happy though. She uh, put the video up on YouTube when we watched the video together right. and we started talking about whether or not we could live in that thing in, in retirement life. Like we had just a small condo, but we drove around a little bit and she was down with it. She was down. Right. That's my dream. Can you imagine being out there on the road, looking at the world's biggest cookie in different towns and sleeping wherever you want? It's so funny. Terrible. You say that's what you want. Yeah. But I imagine the second you get in that car and you have and you have to start driving. I love driving. You're turning around. I want, Tom? I want Tom? the exact opposite of what you say. You, you say do? you want to be on the road and do that. And live. I want to live in a hotel. Yeah, you know, hotel would be cool. I mean, I get it. I'd love to live in a casino, but I, after three days, I'd be broken. I'd be like, I don't like this hotel. When I anymore. drove from here to St. Louis, it was hell. <laughs> yeah, but, but you drove from here to St. Louis in your wife's SUV. I'm talking about a $1.5 million dollar uh, you I mean, know, you're still, still driving. Drive. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind the drive. I it's like still drive. four wheels in a seat. But we're retired. There, we're retired. If we drive for three hours and we're like, all right, I'm bored. Let's pull over and sleep here for the night. Yeah, if then you, you might as well live in a hotel. They no, we sleep in our RV. Yeah. Mm. That's the whole point of having the RV. Yeah, mm. not you. No. <laughs> <laughs> not you. Not you. I love that you people think you know me so well. I mean, yeah. I just pulled Yeah, we do. We, do. we don't know nothing. Oh, we've been talking to you for the last 17 years. <laughs> yeah. We know you're yeah. not you living in a truck. Like. Yeah. 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 It's not Sorry. just a truck. It's a luxury RV. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Plus, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that goes into those things when you gotta you're on the road. Oh yeah, I don't want to do the maintenance. You gotta do you gotta <laughs> empty like your sewage tank and, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and you have to do. Uh, all right, well you have to uh, shut this down, and this is the sequence to shut it yeah, down. Yeah. And then you shut it down <laughs> wrong, and then it doesn't start, or you mix the gas with the oil, and it just uh, it seizes up the engine and yeah, all, right, all, all kinds right, of right. stuff. I'll see if Tom could drive us, right. yeah. but I don't want him to live in the RV, so he's gonna have to pull a trailer that he could live in behind Wait, it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't want to hate boss. No, lo- Tom, you're not sleeping with me and my wife tonight. The longest I've been in my camper was like a week, and that was a lot. By the end, I'm like, I got to get out of here. I need a, I need a house. It's got- yeah, but you had a whole family. Yeah, but still, I mean, it's not, you know, it's five people, but. Hey, you think it's going to be much different with you and your wife? It's a lot. And your dogs? Oh, yeah, the dogs, too. These things don't, they don't have, re- these things don't have real showers. Tom. They don't have, you know. It's, yeah, the dog save a Tom. Yeah, you guys are dream, <laughs> you're dream killers. Yeah, I'm so excited. I just before. don't. Th- it's not what you think it is. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm back. I'm back to my house. Yeah, the second you have to take a crap on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Listen, and then I, empty the tank where you put it. <laughs> I have to drive to Georgia this month or in November, and uh, that'll be a good test. You do? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Who is? What is the option? <laughs> Tom? Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm driving. I, I'm driving myself. I have to drive the family. Oh. <laughs> if I drive, if Tom drives us there, Tom has to stay there. Right, but again, yeah. when you just went, uh, he waits you, in the car. But <laughs> also, yeah, he can live in the car. Hey, uh, boss, also, here, is, it, is it crazy to think that you would have Tom drive you up there, right. have the Sprinter, and stay at a Motel Six for no, three it's days? An excellent idea. I appreciate <laughs> that. And, and Tom, if you're available yeah. on Thanksgiving, I would like that. That is yeah, wonderful. Didn't you hire a driver when you and your family went to Tennessee? 
to drive you guys around. Yeah, we hired bus. an entire um, yeah, an entire uh, tour bus. Tour bus, yeah. Yeah, so don't act like it's so in crazy to think. Well, no, I, I, but it's not so crazy to think that I would drive somewhere. Where in Georgia? It's how far? more crazy to think you're driving <laughs> yeah. than it is that you hired somebody. I genuinely don't like you. Yeah, me? <laughs> no, Just me? Yeah, mostly you. Okay. I'm going to drive to Savannah later this month. Oh, really? Yeah. I think Savannah's I'm Savannah's cool. Soccer tournament. Oh, no. I'm competing. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm further than Savannah. Yeah. Yeah. I think like you could fly into Atlanta, but then you still have to drive for two hours. So mm. I'm just going to drive the whole way. Yeah. You guys are really making me think about this one. No, that area is great. It's, it's like me. Blue Ridge. That maybe that's where it's at. Yes. yes. Blue Ridge, Georgia. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome there. But driving there is me and my family and the Jews traveling up there together. What are you taking? What vehicle? Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't have a vehicle right now because I've hit my miles on my Stingray Chevrolet. And I, call, I called them and I said, hey, I hit my miles. And they said, what would you like? And I said, a Corvette. And they were like, no, you're not going to Corvette. <laughs> I said, okay, just checking. Just well, wouldn't you, drive this, out there. wouldn't you drive this Sprinter? If no. all of you guys are going, oh my god, that thing, that thing's like a jalopy when you're driving it that far, mm. you know? Right, but I mean, the most comfortable, it would fit everybody. It's comfortable in the back. It's not comfortable if you're driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, Tom. That, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> right. mm. yeah. I, I mean, already I, got I, hemorrhoids, boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then you have a rear view mirror. You don't want to take that thing that far. Mm. You know, God knows what'll break <laughs> on that thing. All right, let's get this show moving this morning. It's Mike and the Dream Killers. You're going to fly to Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to Georgia. Oh, I'm going to Georgia. I already bought a winter coat yeah, yesterday and Uggs. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, it is Thursday. We'll have the open letter rewind this morning. It is Halloween. Boo to all of you. It's the Mike Calta Show. This is 1025 The Bone. All right. Carmen, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, you don't uh, sound very good. What's on? Too much working out yesterday. Uh, in your dingy clothes. What? I'm over you. I saw your stinky pit video. <laughs> You're welcome oh, for that, by the way. It's on our Instagram. You're at the Mike Calta Show. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Uh, what do we have to give away today? Oh, my God. So much stuff. We have tickets for Here Come the Mummies. Uh huh. OAR. Ooh. Pink. Mm -hmm. TSO. Mm -hmm. Reggae Rise Up. Okay. Monster Jam. Mm -hmm. Thomas Rhett. Yeah. And. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of stuff. The Mike Held the Tailgate. All right. All right. Let's do it right now. A little bit of sparkle. Here we go. <laughs> Carmen is the keeper of sparkle. Pap Pap is your judge, scorekeeper, and part time Weezer singer. Yep. Carmen, what are we playing today? Well, in honor of Halloween, I figured we'd do a little sporkle about candy. Oh. Can like you candy. name the candy by description? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you the description. You're going to be the candy. And remember, there's a lot of candy that kind of are the same. Okay, I got you. So make sure you listen. Mm -hmm. All right, your first one. Soft and chewy fish-shaped candies. Sweet, Sweet fish. fish. Galvin. No, that was that was Geo. Geo. <laughs> Integrity. <laughs> Milk chocolate bar. Hershey's. Mike Calta. Chewy fruit flavored candies. Skittles. Chewy. Chewy fruit flavor candies. Oh, I know. Go ahead. What? Oh, uh, Razzles. I already buzzed. Go Mike ahead. and Ike. Yeah, go ahead. Say it, Gio. Mike and Ike. <laughs> oh, no uh, point. I was thinking Starburst. Oh, uh. no, no point. Uh, peanutty caramel fudge bars in rich milk chocolate. Peanut caramel and fudge. Peanutty caramel Snickers. fudge bars in <laughs> rich milk chocolate. Payday. I don't know. Oh, Henry. Oh, Henry. Oh, nobody's eating those. Yeah, I don't think That's, I've ever had one. I think my grandma had those at her house once. Oh, they're delicious. <laughs> your grandmother's eat, yeah. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> you, this guy agrees with your grandma. Yeah. 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 They have those at the nursing home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tangy, taffy-like, chewy candy. Wait, Tangy, taffy. What'd you say, Gio? I said airheads. You're right. Mm. Airheads. 
cookies topped with caramel and covered Twix. with milk chocolate. Galvin. Hey, I'm on the board. Okay. Small candies in the shape of fruits and hearts. Small candies in the shape of fruits and hearts. I see it. I yeah, see the candy. I see it too. Runts. Runts. Uh, no point. Rhymes with what I call you. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Not you, Carmen. <laughs> nope, too no. late. You already no, said it. Yeah. These guys. No, he said it. Tart and tangy. Sweet tart. <laughs> you know, you got it. <laughs> I was looking for the buzzer. <laughs> Geo. Thank. <laughs> Milk caramel sucker that lasts a long Bit of time. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. Damn, no. Mike Kelta. One mint green layer sandwich in between two chocolate brown layers. York Pepper and Patty. <laughs> One in these candies. Yes. Oh yeah. Galvin. No. I know Mike gets oh. the point, but Olive Garden. I'm oh, that's true. They yeah. give those out. Oh, yeah. Andy's. Yeah. Andy. Point Michael. <laughs> point yeah. Michael. I'm more about the food, not the, <laughs> not the gimmicks. I like the yeah. whole experience. Yeah, that's From part From the salad of it. to the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Your next one: small creamy mints in pure dark chocolate. York peppermint patty. Junior Mint. Small, yes. Uh, like Alta. Those are my favorite uh, at the good. movies. Oh yeah. Oh. That with popcorn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Let's go. Semi sweet chocolate. Non. Snow caps. Yes. <gasps> my Alta. Non what? Candy what? Nothing. Oh, okay. I I have lost. Candy bar bursting with peanuts, rich caramel, and Payday. chewy Snickers. nougat. Snickers. Say it again. Payday. Damn it. <laughs> Candy bar bursting with peanuts, rich caramel, and chewy nougat. Nutty buddy. Baby Ruth. Milk chocolate candy bar with peanuts. Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> Mr. Good Bar. Uh, Those are candies delicious. from the seventies. Yeah, it's another old these, lady. These are good. Oh, that's good, Mr. Good Bar. Yeah. Soft and chewy candy. The outside is sour. The inside is sweet. Lemonhead. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Hey. My ca- uh, yeah. Do you not know who we are? I don't. <laughs> Uh, Pat, Pat, we're halfway there. Gio is on the board. Or, I'm sorry. Galvin is on the board with two. Gio has three. And Michael is your leader right now by two. He's winning with five. Correct. All right. We are doing candies by description. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> I, I have my score. I don't know who. What uh, is is that right? Is that wrong? <laughs> I've got right. my, score. Yeah, my score. Mike never keeps the score. He just lets Joe make it up. Right. <laughs> Not, well, is your true. score right, Gio? <laughs> yes, mine is correct. Mine's good too. We're Galvin, good. is your score right? Mine is right. Yeah. yeah. I think the uh, the argument is whether Mike's is right. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm right. No, right. <laughs> All right. Candies of my descriptions. Your next one. An oblong piece of chewy chocolate candy. Tootsie roll. Gio. Coconut candy bars. All the joy. <laughs> Mounds. <laughs> Mound. Ah, it's oh, the other one. Yeah. Mike Kaltov. Taffy like candy starts Bit hard I. but becomes yeah. chewy. Laffy Taffy. I already said that one, I think. Oh, yeah. Taffy like candy starts hard but becomes chewy. Starts hard. Don't we all? <laughs> now and later. Uh, oh, those are garbage. Oh, what? You're going to get a lot of those Halloween candy. Yeah, nobody wants those. <laughs> Uh, caramel nuggets covered in milk chocolate. Chunky. Chunky. Caramel nuggets. Rolo. Damn it. That was a good guess. Yeah. Caramel nuggets covered in milk chocolate. Milk does. Oh, that's a nugget? I didn't know that was caramel. No, I never would have thought caramel. Yeah. Oh, I thought oh. milk. Learn something new. <laughs> milk. <laughs> it's the what? dud part. <laughs> yeah. It's dried milk. Soda pop candy in assorted flavors. 
Oh. Uh, Soda. What are those called? Nobody knows what the name of those yeah. <laughs> Waxies. Wa- yeah. You will. Wax soda sodas. <laughs> Bottle caps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? Told you. America's favorite strawberry twists. Liquor. Uh, Twizzlers. Uh, uh, bitch. G- <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? Geo. That was mine. Yeah. I had it. Geo. Known for their hard break glass quality texture in assorted fruit flavors. Jawbreakers. Uh, oh. Known for their hard break glass quality texture in assorted fruit flavors. I don't know. Juju bees. Whoa. That's <laughs> a candy. It's coming from the guy on Snickers for yeah. five seconds. <laughs> A uh, powdered candy in a package that resembles a paper drinking straw. Oh, what? Fun come dip. on. Uh, what do they call them? <laughs> <sighs> I know. Yeah. Powdered candy in a package that resembles a paper future drinking Coke heads. straw. <laughs> Pixie, Pixie sticks. Stick. Oh, yeah. Point Joe. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> candy from the 50s. Yeah. Yep. Packets of flavored and colored Fun sugar. Dip. What was it, Gio? Yeah. Yes. yes. Small hot cinnamon flavored candy. Hot tamales. Red hot. Yes. Galvin and Pat Pap. We're on the last three. Galvin has three points. Gio doubles that at six, and he is tied with Michael. Oh, oh. man. I thought I was running away with it. All right, candies by description. Last three. Here we go. Wrapped fruit chew squares. Jolly Ranchers. Starburst. Starburst. Galvin. Assorted fruit or chocolate candies in six packs. Ready for your dispensers. Pez. Pap, pap. That was Galvin. Oh, 100%. No way. 100%. No way. Galvin gets Listen, the point. You know I, I have integrity. Around. You know I have integrity. That was me. <sighs> Galvin gets the point. Ooh, I could tie it up here. Yeah. We could have Satan in the house. Yeah, we're five, six, <laughs> six. You're a piece of garbage, Joe. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. And your last one. Chewy gumdrops in assorted flavors. Oh, yeah. Came on a piece of paper. Dots. Belly buttons. Dots. I just tied it up. Yep. Yeah. The you're devil's three way is here. We yeah. are six 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 all you're, the way you up. You are a son of a bitch, Joe. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're a real son of a bitch. You said, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you completely denied it. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, I can't wait to go back and listen to me getting that one before you. <laughs> three way tie. Tiebreaker. Here we go. Whipped, whipped up candy bar with a fluffy. Milky Way. Uh, oh, chocolate. <laughs> I can't hear it. Well, you gotta be quick. You gotta you know. be quick. Everyone can hear it. Yeah. The same. Yeah. Joe, you're a son of a bitch, man. You are. You are so garbage. I can't. Wait, I, I can't wait to go back out and pull the audio of me saying it before. For okay. The All right. You're a son of a bitch. I don't know why you get so upset. Because I get screwed all the time because of you. No, you don't. No, yes. No, no, yes. no, you don't. Yes. That was, that was legitimately Galvin's point. No, sorry. It was not. You deaf old man. <laughs> oh. All right. You Come can on. be mad if you want. Deaf old man. Come on. Afraid of Galvin. Your final score Pussy. Galvin with six. Geo also six. And Michael is your triumphant champion today. He won with seven. Yay. We bring the boom. You can't, you can't oh, steal it. What, what are you doing? Uh, you, you can't take it back. You're trying to take it back. Yeah, uh, you got a lot of rules today, Gio. Oh, my God. Everybody's so edgy <laughs> today. But I already yeah. said that. Like, I mean, it was just a celebratory yeah. song. No. This is All your right. song. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shut it down. No. My next rule is you're going to have to sing La Cucaracha. Uh, yeah. Like, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can see what oh. you're doing. I mean, do, do your own thing. Why do you have to try and steal my thing? <laughs> He's trying to make your thing cool. Uh, it's a punishment. <laughs> it's a punishment. It's not for fun. That song is a punishment. Don't try and make that song I'm fun. sorry. I love that song. Uh, I can't help it. I don't like it. Oh, yeah. I, don't like it. I believe that's uh, two in a row. Is that correct? That is not. 
I did what is that? I did, I did, I did, I did what Jones yesterday. Did. No, you did not. Gal- what is that? Gal- I did. Damn it. I went mm-hmm. today. No. <laughs> no. Today, you guys are filled with a lot of anger today. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm, Joe, screw me over. I'm no, fine. No, I'm, I'm having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made a comeback. Huh? Yeah. I thought you did okay. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. yeah, awesome. Uh, <laughs> what do we have coming up in news? <laughs> Can I, I didn't weigh in on who I thought answered first. Okay. On that, on that thing. Yeah, listen, I just tried to stay out of it. The the Her other mind. one, the other one, it was uh, clearly Geo, but I was answering, and I thought that I answered first. So we go to the judge, and the judge said me, and you know, then we yeah. move on. That's how it went. But if listen, if you pull the audio and I hear it, and it's you first, I'll go. Oh yeah, that was totally Geo. Yeah. Like, but it's too late. <laughs> it's way too late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't exactly. Know. However, the rules go. Uh, uh, yeah. Coming up in news today. Still in it, half a Sammy, and road trip reconciled. Oh, good. All yeah. right, Galvin has your news. We'll take a quick break, and we'll do that next. It's the Mike Galta Show. This is 1025 Le Bon. Angelo. There are objects good. on road ahead. Hello? Good morning. <laughs> Sorry. She got, a uh, very aggressive uh, uh, <laughs> GPS. <laughs> she is. She's very loud. Um, stuck in traffic on 95. Good morning. Happy Halloween. Ah, back at you, sir. Hey, I was, uh, uh, um, I called earlier when you were talking about uh, inmate Southern, it was South Sutherland, Kiefer's uh, uh, cousin, I guess. I don't yeah. know who the hell that is. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they, um, these guys are talented artists in, in prison. I work for, for FTC in their 16 years. Uh, thankfully, I don't work in with the inmates. I'm the computer guy. Right. But these guys have some serious talent. Yeah. No, I think it's music or art or. or I remember uh, watching you know, so, a uh, profile uh, on a guy, I think it was on 60 Minutes, and he had never been on a golf course. It was some uh, guy that had been in prison, uh, a black gentleman, and he had never been on a golf course, but started drawing golf courses yeah. and got so good that whenever they got him out of prison, he started designing golf courses. Oh, and, wow. and his art sold for <laughs> a bunch of money. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Yeah, yeah they... Um, it, yeah, I, I see the talent that they have, and it's. And, you know, I just kind of think to myself, what are you guys doing in here? But they, you know, they kind of pick up on some of the stuff while they're in there. Um, I appreciate the guys that that you know want to get an education in in the system and get out and do better things. But there's some that also just want to kind of stay in because they, you know, like that controlled life. They have you know three squares and bed and don't mind being there. Yeah. And, and it's kind of crazy. Like Brooks. But, you, you know, you got a nice package from these guys. The, 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 the veterans, actually, I'm former uh, Air Force, and they had asked me to host their meetings every now and then because they need a, a, a host. And uh, I'm just I'm too far from, from Hardy yeah. uh, to go out there when they need me. But, uh, you know, they have a whole veterans group that's there. They all kind of get together and, and do stuff like that, uh, those cards and and. Just wow. kind of, they do good things for the community and, uh, from the inside. It's, 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 they've got some great programs. Yeah, I mean, that was cool. And the send them for this, uh, for those people just joining us for the first time this morning. Angela, thank you for the call. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, this uh, I got a package from Hardy County Correctional Institution. I didn't know what it was going to be. These guys were sure I had anthrax. And it was uh, some cards that were made for, uh, it was for Veterans Day from, some folks that are in the Hardy uh, Correctional Facility. It's good stuff. I just didn't know what it, where it was coming from, and there was nice enough for that to send it to us. So thank you to Mr. Sutherland and the other folks in the uh, Hardy uh, Correctional Facility. Uh, from one prisoner to another, time to check in with Galvin. He's got today's news. Oh, you know. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. You think he's here on his free will? Galvin's a prisoner. <laughs> uh, what do we have in news today, Galvin? Uh, just real quick, we were talking about it earlier. So Hardy County does not have the electric chair. It says Florida State Prison in Rayford is where executions by electric Rayford. chair. Rayford. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rayford. Okay. I hope, right. hope I never go there. Uh-huh. Uh, today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. You can stop into a Pelt Shoes and see all the different stuff that they have in there. I'm absolutely amazed every time I walk in. They have all the different styles and brands that you're looking for right there in stock, ready to go, so you don't have to wait around for shipping. You don't have to worry about whether it's the wrong size or the wrong color, anything like that. They have the Pelt Shoe Fit Experts. You're going to make sure you're getting the perfect fitting shoe. They have six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers, so stop into a Pelt's today and make sure you tell them Galvin from the Mike Kelter show sent you. Uh, So the Los Angeles Dodgers won the World Series last night, beating the New York Yankees seven to six in game five. The Yankees were up 
five to nothing Crazy. before an air filled meltdown in the fifth inning allowed the Dodgers to tie the game after taking advantage of three miscues to erase a five run fifth inning deficit during one of the most memorable mid game meltdowns in baseball history. The Dodgers used the eighth inning sacrifice flies from Gavin Lux and Mookie Betts to beat New York seven to six last night. The Dodgers won the world series four to one. Not only did I call the Dodgers to win? I called the Dodgers to win in five games. So I say to Mike Kelta, money, please. Oh, oh yeah. I got to oh, send you uh, yeah, I'll send you digital money. money oh, yeah. I owe Galvin $100. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about this this morning. I should have bet too. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about this this morning and I'm like, am I going to take his hundred bucks? But you know what? Yeah, it's, a bit, it's, a bit. it's going back to you with the death pool. So uh, <laughs> you send it to me and well, okay. then I get yep. that's oh, half of my death. Understandable. Right? What is death pool? 200? Yes. Yeah. No, it's four hundred. No, no, no. no. We two fifty. We bet a thousand. Is it no. two fifty? Two fifty. Is it two fifty or two hundred? I think, I think it's two fifty. We went up this year. No, no, no we did not go up. No. I, we no, were, we I think we were definitely going down. There's no way we voted to go up. Yeah, right. but okay. pretty sure we went up. No. Uh, well, there you go. The uh, Dodgers are your champions, and like we said, uh, <laughs> Freddie Freeman, of course, MVP. I think that they really wanted more. Uh, of a World Series and just the four games. Oh, you know, sure yeah. they did. But, uh, you know, it was not a nice little back and forth would have been nice, but, you know, the Dodgers definitely the better team. It was intense, man. Yeah. And it was funny because Shoei Otani and uh, Aaron Judge Aaron Judge really didn't show up. Yeah. Judge last night had a homer, which was great. And you were like, oh boy, here it comes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Aaron, you woke Aaron Judge up. Here it comes and nothing. <laughs> what <laughs> the, had a good game. Uh, the memes I saw online with the guy who was trying to steal the ball the other night. Yeah. I said the Yankees failed this man. <laughs> uh, uh, so it turns out that that guy went to college with yeah. Gronk. Gronk yeah. knows that dude that tried yeah. to rip the ball out of and, Mookie Betts' hand. And Gronk's like, oh yeah, it totally makes sense. He's the best <laughs> guy to do that. <laughs> uh, so... What did you say? You made me think of something. Oh, Aaron Judge. I saw all kind of memes about Aaron Judge because prior to last night, he was doing nothing. Last night, he hit a home run, whatever. But uh, I saw like a text thing where it said, hey, man, we're at the party. Where are you? And it's a picture of Aaron Judge. And he goes, what does that mean? And he he writes, I'm not showing up. (laughs) Uh. Yeah. Uh, so tonight is Thursday night football. You have the Houston Texans. will meet the New York jets in week nine at MetLife stadium. That sounds fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Houston, who is six and two is off to a great start and sits atop the AFC South standings while the jets are two and six come into the game fighting to stay relevant. Houston just lost uh Stephon Diggs for the year. Yeah. Torn ACL. Still. I think Still. they beat the jets. I think yeah. so. Yeah. The jets yeah. are done. Aaron Rodgers is an old quarterback on a bad team, but he has Dude. to go out now like this. This yeah. is his last two. Two seasons. He wanted garbage. to have like Brady did. Yeah. Did, you to see, Tampa. did you see TJ Watt on with, uh, with, uh, what's his name? McAfee, McCa- uh, McCaffrey. No, uh, oh. Pat McAfee, Pat McAfee. Oh, no. Sorry. McAfee. Oh, it was hilarious. Cause now he's drinking the, the water with the, uh, uh, what you call it? Iowa. Cayenne pepper oh. in it. One of his teammates, you know, the water and the cayenne pepper. And TJ Watt goes, are you asking me? He goes, are you saying, he goes, yeah, that, that, that should do it. He goes, why don't you sprinkle some of the cayenne pepper on the playbook? <laughs> he goes, maybe they'll magically have better play. He, goes, he was yeah. so mad at him. He's like, it's become a joke now. Yeah. Uh-oh. They lost their coach. Aaron Rodgers is old. It's just a mess. I think them getting rid of their coach was the worst move. Yeah. You know, they, they fire the guy. It wasn't his fault. Yeah, I don't follow the Jets close enough to know why, if they thought that was going to be a good idea or what the plan was. I don't know. I think it's pretty obvious Rogers Aaron Rodgers didn't out. like him. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it does not make me feel good is uh, Peter Schrager, who has uh, guessed the last like uh, four Super Bowls, the teams that would be in it, yeah. and who was going to win and all that stuff. He said this year the teams that it was going to be, and then he said the NFL MVP would be Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he did? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not even close, man. Uh, how about this? I I was not aware until I saw a promo. I was like, he is still in the UFC and he's going to fight in November. UFC heavyweight John Jones has agreed yeah. to attend four hours of anger management classes <laughs> for to, a fighter to resolve a pair of misdemeanor charges stemming from a drug test at his New Mexico home in which he was accused of being hostile. A bench trial was set to begin Tuesday before a ne- uh, New Mexico judge, but a prosecutor uh, and uh, Jones's defense attorney announced at the start of the virtual proceedings that an agreement had been reached. The charges of the assault, uh, a petty misdemeanor uh, and interference with communication, a misdemeanor will be dismissed as long as Jones completes 
completes the anger management classes and follows all laws over the next 90 days. Uh, Jones had pleaded not guilty in July uh, when the allegations first became public earlier this year. He called them baseless. Jones will fight uh, Stipe Miocic uh, in UFC 309 on November 16th that's at soon? New York's Madison Square Garden. Oh, wow. Yeah. This month. Yeah. It's like oh. in two well, weeks. Yeah. 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 November cow. 16th. I'm in. I, I knew they were fighting. I didn't that. know it was this month. Yeah, yeah so that's a, that's a big weekend. Yeah. Uh, you got Burt. Uh, going to be uh, in concert, whatever. And after Bert is uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. And then Saturday you have John Jones and Steve Miocic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wins that? I mean, you can't go against John Jones. I would never yeah. bet against John I Jones, know. right? Ever. I mean, you, you haven't seen him. He has all these problems, everything going on. And Steve is great. I think Steve uh, defended this title more than anyone. I think uh, I, I'm not yeah. sure. I, I think that's a stat for him, but yeah, I don't think you can ever go against John Jones. All right, how about this? Mackenzie Dern versus Amanda Rebus. I'm not familiar enough to. Manel Cape versus Bruno Silva. Uh, oh. Bruno Silva. By the way, that's a good rule of thumb. Anyone with the last name Silva. Silva. Been on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Vitor Petrino versus Dustin Jacoby. Uh, Vitor. Uh, these are fights that are all happening in Tampa. Oh, yeah, for the uh, UFC fight that's happening in Tampa that's coming up. MMA or UFC? UFC. Oh, yeah, UFC oh, Tampa. One that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's yeah. December fourteenth, fight night. I think. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know any of those people. I'm yeah, but I, you know the great thing about UFC is they're putting a good product out there. Whether they're yeah, big yeah, games yeah. or not, you, you're going to see some good fights for sure. And it's, How about it's, Cub oh, Swanson? Cub Swanson been around for a long time. Who's Cub taking? Billy Carantillo. I'm going to go Cub. Really? Yeah. yeah. Tracy Cortez, hot. Miranda Maverick. Oh, Maverick for sure. <laughs> Just because it's Maverick. If she comes out to uh, oh, uh, Top Gun. Top Gun, yeah. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Danger Zone. That'd How about great. Michael Johnson versus Otman Azatar? Oh, Otman. Is, yeah. Joel Alvarez, Drakar Close. Ooh, Drakar, but he smells great. I'd go Alvarez. Uh, and the light By heavyweight. By the way, these are all subject to change yeah. after I look them up. I'm Na- going- Navajo Sterling versus Tuco Takas. Oh, Tuco, Tuco. Tacos. Tuco Tacos. Tight, 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 tight. Tuco Tacos looks huge. Yeah, yeah uh, that's, that's it. Uh, in addition to the other fights that we talked about earlier. That's in so. December, right? December, yeah. December 14th at Amelie Arena. Yeah, I got to. Do we want to go to that? I do. I definitely want to go to that. I, I would mean, go to that. I mean, we got a suite? <gasps> I don't want. I mean, I feel like a uh, suite would be perfect for that. Right? Yeah, let's get a suite for that. Olivero, get us a suite for that. Yeah. We'll just show up and go, we thought it was hockey. We thought, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? All right, how much are uh, Section 2 ringside seats going for? Section 2 ringside, uh, they're 1200 apiece. piece. I'm going to say Tampa, 700 1650 Oh, Ooh. wow. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you 12 see. <laughs> We go back. Let me see. A good, a good I feel like ringside uh, at UFC, be, it would be tough to see what's going on. Because you're uh, Mike yeah. and I sat ringside. The floor is like eye level, isn't it? Yeah, Mike and I sat ringside for uh, Couture and Lesnar, and yeah, you got to kind of yeah. look up a little bit. It's a uh, yeah, but I mean, it was still great. Right. All right. Let me remember look. Jerry Jeremy Stevens uh, ran full speed into the cage yeah. after he won. Remember he used to do that. He won. He came, he just ran and faced there's ah! yeah. It was great. Uh, these tickets aren't so bad. If you sat in like one fifteen to one seventeen, which are uh, great seats, great seats right up in the center there. It's two hundred fifty bucks. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Do, I would go to this. I mean. I'm famous. I'm not the snow on the floor. I was going to say, let's talk to Olivero before I buy my tickets because yeah. he yells at me whenever I. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, by the way, speaking of being famous, I'm assuming they talked to you about the flu talk, about being a uh, celebrity judge. They did, and I am not available that weekend. What weekend is it? <laughs> the weekend they do the flu talk. No, no, no. I know, but you. I, what is the date? It's. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I feel like they what do you got going you? on? Uh, I got. I'm gonna be out. I got a religious thing. Go oh yeah. yeah. Mm. They. I. T- I suggested Vasilevsky and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> did they call? I don't know what they ended up doing. Uh, they did call him. Oh. I don't know if they called you. The countdown is on for uh, Red Bull Flutog in Tampa, set to launch on November 9th Is the date you yeah. were trying to think? Right, of. No, but I, it was the weekend that I'm avail- unavailable mm. at the uh, Tampa Convention Center. The judging lineup includes. Pretty good judging lineup, I would say. Uh, Tampa Bay guess. Lightning. Stupid Titus O'Neill will be there. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning goalie Andre Vasilevsky, uh, NFL Hall of Famer Derek Brooks. Okay. Uh, you have professional gamer and Tampa native Turner 
Tifu uh, Tenny. Yeah. Uh, Red Bull athlete and world champion surfer Caroline uh, Marks and global YouTube personality. Twan Cooper. Oh, you know Twan. Or Copper, yeah. maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar, but I mean... I mean, Tifu, probably, Tifu's the hugest name on that list. Tifu, yeah, very big, and uh, the Tuan may be giant, too. We just don't necessarily know. I know, but that's how you know if somebody is that famous. If you know Tifu and you don't know Tuan, Tifu is more famous. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying yeah. that. Uh, let's see what uh, Tuan's got for followers. Tuan. Now, I've never been, and I want to go. Go, where is go. The, right, but I'm asking, like, where's the best place to watch this? Because I don't want to have to, like... I would imagine the best place is if you already had a hotel room with a balcony right. over yeah. that way, but that's I would imagine I'm... that's all sold out already. Uh, right. By the way, Tuan has over 6 million uh, Instagram Tifu followers. Tifu laughs at that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure yeah. Tifu, Tifu has, like, 80 million or something crazy. I went to the last one, and it was, it was packed. We ended up standing on the bridge yeah. right there by the convention center, because you can kind of see everywhere. You know, over have, that whole area over there by like Jackson's and stuff, you can see pretty good there too. I have zero interest in watching guys yeah. fall off a ramp into the water. It, I have it, no was, fun. In going it was fun. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's a great time, and I think people will have a ball. And it sounds like a great lineup of judges and celebrities and blah blah blah. But it's just not for me. You see these like contraptions they built, and you're like, oh god, there's no way this is going to work for these guys. I think of things that I've woken up and have not gone to. This is. <laughs> Yeah. At the bottom of the list. The year I went, my my, because it was probably six, seven years ago right. at least. Like I'm going to suggest that my son go. I my think kids he'll loved have it a, at I the time. They were like eight, nine years old. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Tuan is Dutch. I had that Tuan. Yeah. Was that good? I don't even know. Mm. A little French, I think. Maybe a little bit. Tuan. Uh, your Starbucks drink with soy, oat, almond, or coconut milk. Will not Gross. cost you. Will not cost you any extra anymore. Oh, You're damn right. Good, yeah. Good. Starting next week, Starbucks customers will no longer pay more for adding non-dairy milk to their orders. The company said the removal of non-dairy milk surcharge means customers who request it will pay around ten percent less than they did previously. Orders with milk substitutions uh, have. Uh, at Starbucks in recent years, obviously, have grown a lot alongside non-dairy alternatives and grocery stores. Uh, so non-dairy milk has become the second most common order modification at Starbucks, uh, right behind adding a shot of espresso. I bet they just raised the price of the... Uh, <laughs> of the everything. Uh, of yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 So it's, 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 they raised the price up to what it would have been with the almond milk anyways. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're not paying for the almond milk, but we <laughs> yeah. do have these new cups yeah. that are... Uh, My surprising. daughter's order is pretty horrendous. I get a Trent to Cold Brew with heavy cream. That's it. It's a cold iced coffee is basically what I'm getting. She gets a strawberry lemonade acai with no fruit inclusions and a scoop of boba. Does that even make any sense to you? Boba yes. is a little of the balls. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that's about. Mm. And then they put little strawberry flakes in there, but she doesn't like that. No strawberry. No fr- so no, no fruit I have infusion. to say no fruit inclusion. Inclusion. Okay. And a scoop of boba. Mm. I don't then, like boba. Me either. It's gr- it gross and it like well, pops in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Texture. Is it just like a gelatinous little ball? Does yes. it have any flavor to it, or does it take on the flavor of whatever, whatever I think it's it in? Takes or? on the flavor. Yeah. I think I don't know, but but they say it's tapioca. Yes. Oh, okay. And that reminds me of tapioca pudding. Right. So mm-hmm. I think I've got little tapioca balls in my mouth. That's gross. Oh, yeah. Pearl milk tea uh, is another name for it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I just I don't like the texture. I don't like food shouldn't just be say in it, drinks. Carmen, you don't like balls in your mouth. Yeah, really. Well, <laughs> yeah. You're no fun. Not- she said she doesn't like anything exploding in her mouth. Yeah. Mm. Boring. <laughs> 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 Terrible. Sorry, Joe. Uh, guy in Pennsylvania who claimed he was working on a two dollar COVID vaccine. Just a guy. Yeah. Working on a $2 yeah, it sounds like it should be good. Yeah, it's like Carmen making a deter- detergent. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, nice. Turns out this guy was making fentanyl. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, he was caught after showing up to a bank with duffel bags filled with <laughs> cash. <laughs> Apparently, he was doing pretty well at it. Yeah. Two bucks a pop. That's pretty good. Yeah, what do you uh, what do you know? I'm working on a COVID vaccine. Yeah. No big deal. You it's know, just... I, was, I was thinking about it yesterday about uh, how that one cruise that we went on that was just me and Gio. Yeah, nobody oh, yeah. else went on the cruise. Right, that was pretty weird. Yeah, well, Bob, that was Bobby was on that the cruise. Bobby. Yeah, it was me, you, and Bobby, and uh, be even more Feeny weird when you guys and die. And uh, Sagalow, that was a staring happy boy. Was <laughs> yeah, it? That was, uh, yeah. I think everyone was that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it has been a while. It's been a while. I have a hot or not for you guys. Oh my god! About I thought they time. were. I thought nobody was committing crimes right? anymore. Right? What's going on? It's been a little. I, mean, while. I haven't had any new music. I haven't had any hot or nots. Tisha Booth. Tisha. 
and Keisha Edmond. Oh, Tisha and Keisha. Tisha and Keisha. That's it gets Bonnie and Clyde have we had Tisha and Keisha. Tisha Booth and Keisha Edmond, they are women that were on a road trip to reconcile their relationship when they exited Interstate 85 in Georgia last week. Following the duo's 7 p.m. pit stop, cops received a report of indecent exposure. Yeah, I get it, Tisha and Keisha. At the rear of the Raceway gas station. Uh, responding officers located a white female on top of a black female, and each of them had their pants pulled down, exposing their pelvic region. <laughs> yes. time. Uh, the suspects were found on a patch of grass between the raceway and the McDonald's restaurant. <laughs> Booth was sitting up straight with her pants down on top of Edmund's pelvic region, which was also exposed. The two were in the process of having intercourse in public. When the law enforcement arrived, that's what, according to investigators. Uh, Booth, who is 49, and Edmund, who is 37, were arrested for public indecency and booked into the county jail on a misdemeanor charge. Uh, the alleged trist, cops say, occurred in broad daylight in the grass beside the street. In a Facebook post, police recommended that individuals that were attempted uh, to reconcile your relationship with your life partner, they should get a room or go home. Uh, so I ask you, Mike Kelta. Tisha Booth, Keisha Edmond, hot or not. Now, you can go both hot, you can go both not, or you can pick one or the other. I will tell you that, uh, let's see, so uh, Booth, uh, which one is black and which one is r- white? I don't know if that helps you at all, but I'm giving you all the information. I'm going to bet Tisha's white, Keisha's black. Uh, Booth is 49, and Edmond is uh, 37. Uh, Booth, let's see, it says that the located black female uh, uh, I, the white female was on top of the black female. Yeah, she was. So it says that uh, Booth was sitting up straight with her pants down. So Booth was the uh, white female. It was so like, it was Keisha car- white, Keisha black. Keisha white, Keisha black. Yeah. While I think, what was your question? I was saying this was a car rally. What is was this at a McDonald's? No, no, oh. a, a racetrack, uh, gas station. Oh, gas station. Okay, yeah. I yeah. thought it was like an actual racetrack. No, 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 no. Gotcha, gotcha. Keisha, yeah, black. It was very confusing. Uh, what did I say? It doesn't matter. No, but it does. Well, it doesn't were, uh, uh, Booth was sitting up straight, and <laughs> let's see. So Booth, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to visualize. Keisha me. was snorkeling. Booth, where does it say the white? We the... bring the booth. <laughs> Tisha white, Keisha black. Tisha white, Tisha Booth white. Keisha Black. On top. Keisha, hotter than Tisha, both ugly. Not hot. Not hot. Not hot across the not board. Not hot. All right. Across the board, uggos. Geo, hot or not? Two fat salamis. Yeah, 49 <laughs> bumping booths in the gas station parking lot outside of McDonald's. I can't, I lo- they could not wait. They loved each other and reconciled so much that they couldn't wait to get home. They had to start salami and it up in the back yeah. of the car. Oh, both why? gross. Uh, you say not hot not as well. Not hot at all. It looked all like right. a bunch of lunch meat just laying just out there. Just a pile of lunch pile meat. pile of lunch meat. <laughs> like, like when Publix is getting ready and they're yeah. cutting slices. Oh my Carmen, God. what do you got? Mike, it's disgusting. Hot, hungry, hungry, very hungry. <laughs> not hot. I can't. No, not hot. No way. Across the board, we have six not hots because not yeah. hot for both of them three times. You all say not hot. Take a look at your phone. Here comes Tisha and Keisha. Here comes the Keisha. Here comes the yeah. Oh, not hot. No. Yeah. no. Mike they, was right. They are both oh, no. rough. Yeah. Not fat. Not no, bad, but, but yeah, just I mean, the one looks like the crypt keeper, the other one looks like uh, the the what you call it, Brooks, the yeah. or, what not Brooks, uh, Booker, <laughs> the uh, the maintenance man from One Day at a Time, <laughs> Bookman, Bookman or Bookman, not One Day at a Time, uh, the other thing. Good Ooh. times, good times. Jesus, I'm, I'm putting it up on our Instagram for the people who are driving. Could, uh, Yowza! Could Imagine you're getting gas and you look over and see oh, that. No. I'd spray him with gas. Oh, yeah. yeah. That also, you know, why the cop didn't get involved? Yeah, because they're ugly. Because they're ugly. Yeah, <laughs> and this becomes a uh, this becomes a, oh. a, a crime rather than hey, ladies. Yeah. What, what are we doing here? Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to let you go if a yeah, puzzle I'll show, yeah. but not those two. You're like, nope. God damn. <laughs> well, <it's- laughs> 
<laughs> it's up on our Instagram. <laughs> oh, that is rough. Uh, Burger King will have an advent calendar this holiday season. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't seem right. Go on. That well, doesn't seem right. But here's the deal. They say it's going to cost $19.54 in honor of the year that they were founded, and it's filled with items worth more than $100. But, uh, advent is uh, celebrating the countdown to the birth of Jesus, right. not not the, uh, the countdown to the birth of the Whopper. Broiled m- yeah, Whopper. Yeah, okay, but uh, you know, you advent calendars have little pieces of chocolate in them. And this yeah, and that's that. the whole point. I know, but that's... That's weird. Yep. Yeah, here, here's what I'm saying is that it seems that McDonald or Burger King rather mess is, is involving themselves in a religious thing. That doesn't seem right. Uh, you're getting a uh, hundred dollars worth of uh, items and stuff. I don't. Think, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. I think it's no, blasphemous. I would argue going to Burger King it can be a religious experience. Yes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> For if you're, burger, if you're guy. burger guy. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm offended by your. Real quick. What do you call Christ? What do I call him? Christ, our King. Burger, Burger King. King. Oh, yeah. He I is. mean, it's basically. The same I mean, thing. marketing guy right here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's brilliant. That's I mean, a little bit of a stretch. Uh, I think that it... the Catholics would be offended by that. Huh? I think that they shouldn't uh, rape. I kids. mean, honestly. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! How about that? Yeah. If you look at the Burger King, he has long hair away from me and Jesus. He's very he facial, kind of longish hair. Yeah. He is. Uh, he looks more like Wade Boggs in the heyday, though, than he does. Very Christ-like. He yeah. is very Christ-like. I might pull this argument back and think that Burger King is doing a religious favor to people. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. Why we talked it through? How else do you make onion rings with no onion in it? Can That's got to be a miracle. Yeah. Can I tell you that I have said the phrase after biting into a Whopper? Jesus Christ, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, that's. I can't remember the last time I ate a Whopper. Yeah. I mean, I've been to Burger King, but I can't remember the last time I've eaten a Whopper. Oh yeah, me either. I, I, I mean, I, what do you get? A chicken sandwich. Yeah. OG. OG. OG long yeah. One. OG long so one. good. It's so. I mean, I haven't even that. I haven't had in probably years. But I, I'm. Just I'd saying. put that up against Chick Fil A. All the chicken sandwiches. I to me that's. I don't superb. like Chick Fil A. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing about Chick Fil A that I like. Eh, it's not bad. It's I, all right. I see the lines. People love it. For, but if I have a difference between a Huey Magoo's or a PDQ, I'm going to either right. one of those over. Yeah, over I'm not going Chick-fil-A. out of my way to go to Chick Fil A, but. I don't mind it. Kids love it, though. Yeah. I think I have only had Chick-fil-A maybe twice in my entire life. Really? Yeah, yeah. I just never. Not See, great. Chad loves it, so I have to, like, figure out what to get every time we go, or we just make two stops. I would say, and this is going to sound like the most blatant lie I've ever told, but it's true. I would say I've eaten more salads from Chick-fil-A than I've eaten chicken. Yeah. Hmm. But I do like their like. <laughs> that does sound like a lie. You're, you're right. That was just <laughs> <laughs> their grilled chicken nuggets. So much for honesty. Are good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't like them. I don't think that they're. I think they taste too sweet. Yeah, I think we're in the minority when it comes to Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah no, no, it. I get yeah. it. I get it. I'm not trying to bash Chick Fil A. It's crazy that you see the lines of the of every place. They're just building one right here by your place. Yeah. Oh, they they got, have, right here. So yeah. there is a place, uh, Chick Fil A, up in uh, Destin, where my family lives, and uh, it was so popular, and it caused so much traffic that the city paid for. A roadway to be built really? for like another, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like they paid for. They were like, "Hey, listen, we got to do that. You got to get this traffic off here." And that's also, uh, uh yeah. So the city yeah. wound up paying for it. Wasn't that crazy? Well, I'll tell you, if you haven't been to Huey Magoo's, you need to seek it out and go there. Oh, that was delicious when they Far brought that superior. in. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was very good. Cannot eat it. It's Favorite so chicken. Funny. Favorite chicken place. Would you say any kind of chicken? I mean, you. I remember when you got the uh, the Popeye sandwich. You said that was really good. It was, well, the Popeye sandwich was the big. Remember, people were waiting yeah, hours. Yeah, people were line. losing their mind, and I couldn't believe that uh, it took to you know twenty 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 or whatever it was to make for the them sandwich. to figure out. Hey, maybe, maybe we do a chicken sandwich. Yeah. I uh, I waited in line, and I said it was very good, and it was worth the wait. That I time, remember I didn't you had it very long. in the next morning, and Geo ate it cold and thought it yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, um, uh, I don't think that was my favorite. I would, I would honestly, I would pick the Magoos for best chicken. Huey Magoos. Yeah. Yeah. Followed by a PDQ. They're getting ready to open the Guy Fieri chicken guy place yep. by my house. Yep. I saw that. Dude, that video that was going around a few months ago of the guy that ate at, uh, at his place and was like, are you kidding me? You charge $43 for that and how bad it was. Yeah. And so, yeah that guy was mad. He was mad. And he was he was mf and <laughs> I mean, it was like oh, it was rough. Uh, so let's see what else we have here. Uh, the start to the countdown 
for the release of Eric and Lyle Mendez has begun. Wow. Uh, the brothers could be released from prison before Christmas. Uh, Mark Garagos said he wants them home by Thanksgiving. Sources with direct knowledge told TMZ that the Menendez uh, brothers lawyers will be in court on December 11th, where a judge will make a decision that could set them free immediately that's thereafter. Amazing. Yeah, that's wild. These guys admittedly blew their parents' heads off with a yep. shotgun, oh. and the world is rallying behind them now to get because them free. of what happened. But I know. To them. I know. If, if it's true, you know what I mean. Like that, I feel like because back in the eighties and nineties when this took place, that it like stuff like that, like child. Yeah, people weren't into feelings. Yeah, yeah, they didn't care. Oh, you got touched as a kid. Get no, over it. But, you don't, uh, Carmen. As somebody who lived through that, I mean, let me just tell you what the problem was. The problem was. It was that, first of all, uh, it, it was, believe it or not, it was working against that guy that he was wearing a wig. Second yeah. of all, uh, they blew their father's head off and then went on a spending spree. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the problem. And and people were like, they clearly did it for the money. And that that's what people were saying. Now we find out about all this molestation, which is what they claimed. But yeah, that would seem like that they were lying at the time. Right. So the idea now that they were, they were being abused since they were children, it seems like that is very true. Does that still allow them to... Kill both their parents. Well, no. it's it's mitigating cir- circumstances. It's a different view right. than it was before. So you so know, they've, so so instead of it being a homicide, it is a uh, manslaughter, manslaughter and then a time served, or it could be. I mean, it really could be. But do you think honestly that you blow somebody's head off, your, especially your own parents, that you get out in thirty years? Oh, there's been people who have uh, murdered people and didn't do any time. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know, I mean, there's been, I literally just listened to a sword and scale the other day of a girl who was 18 years old, but very like immature, 18 years old, lived with her father. Her father was a drunk, admittedly drunk, whatever. And she was supposed to go get her hair done and she didn't drive at 18 years old. And he was supposed to take her to her hair appointment because she was having a birthday party. It was her birthday. And he was too drunk to drive her. And he was laying on the sofa. Right. I believe just in boxer shorts. And so she started throwing stuff at him. Well, she says she just started throwing random things at him. But he went to the hospital because he was covered in like sores and all kind of stuff. She put lye in a water bottle and threw it on him. Oh my and god! And that's an alkaline, and that'll burn your body. Yeah. So he's so drunk that he's laying there, and it's just bubbling Burning. and boiling yeah. and stuff to the point where he goes to the hospital. They try and figure out what the hell's going on with this guy. Then it comes out that that's the situation because the daughter says, "Well, I threw stuff at him. Uh, was that it? I yeah. don't know." He winds up having to have both legs amputated. Oh, oh my God. He, what? He is in the hospital for 156 days. Mm. He gets to the point where his kidneys are shutting down and he has to go on dialysis. Then he says, I'm done with all this. I have no legs. I'm hooked up to a machine. I'm going to go home and live on hospice. Right. Three days later, he's dead. Okay. So now, murder. You know, but they don't go for murder. They go for something with a chemical agent, blah, 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 this and that. The girl waiting for trial is in jail for over 500 days or over a year and a half, you know, year and a half or whatever. Uh, The judge says what you went through turns out her dad was a drunk and maybe there was some uh, uh, abuse. Right. I don't know whether from him or from who this and that, whatever. And you're, you know, working on trying to be a better person. Done. Wow. Nothing. Didn't get anything. Time wow. served. All right. Yeah. And the age usually takes a big effect into that. She was 18. She was 18. But like you said, if she was an Young immature, 18. if she's an immature 18 year old yeah. and a female, if, depending on if the judge was a male or female. Female. Yeah. But they usually take a little bit lighter on female. No, it was pretty wild. I mean, you know, the prosecutor was like, we thought we had an open and shut case like this. Yeah. You know, she did it. She did she, it. She, she, she said admitted it. Yeah. it to, you know, and tried to play it off like she didn't know. And. You know, you just have lie laying around and, you know, throw it on with water. And, and you got to know uh, uh, what you're doing. Who's, we were just talking about lie yesterday. After yes, the show. We Where does that? Oh, really? thinks it's oh. lime. Uh, yeah. No, no what is there that? is lime. There's lime and there's lie. No, right. we were arguing that the line in Goodfellas nope. is I've got no lime. You got to dig the hole. Lie. See? No. We, ah! look, we looked it up. Oh, okay. And it says lime. Oh, it right. yeah. captions. But that doesn't mean that, that his character is not just calling it lime. No, Lime is also an agent. 
that would yeah, yeah that they're would similar, fit. I believe, yeah. right? Yeah. In the movie, I I said the quote. Joe said I was wrong, and then we went up and looked the, up the quote, and I was right. Is it a no. lie what they put no. on the the prisoners when they go to jail? They throw the powder at them. Isn't that lie? And then they clean them off. Oh, uh, like in uh, Shawshank yeah. in the beginning. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I say lie, like lie, like Lysol, or like is it completely separate? Completely separate. Completely separate. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I've never heard of this before. Lie, well, like uh, when they went to prison, they go in naked. They throw up. They they uh, hose them down and they throw a powder at them. Uh, so lye can be used in cooking in small amounts, but swallowing undiluted lye can cause severe burn and permanent damage. Lime can be used uh, for water in wastewater treatment in a uh, in and in food preparation. So they both can use. That's mm. weird. But isn't one called quick lime? Like is the, li- the the lime one is is lye is lime. Uh, sodium or potassium hydroxide. Uh, lime is calcium oxide or calcium hydroxide. This is not helping us. No. no. Nope. Is lye and lime the same thing? Lye combines the uh, soda ash, this and that. Uh, I was just telling alkalinity you. of lime. Oh, with the strong alkalinity of lime. So lye. Yeah. I, don't I was know. just telling Joe that the line in Goodfellas was they say lime. So lime is to uh, eat the flesh and do all that, right? Yeah, and then the, the, alkaloids? Other, the other powder is um, they put on for the for the lice. You know, they throw the light. That oh. powder is a mixture of talcum uh, and baby powder, which is meant to help the prison adjust to cold temperatures inside the prison cells. It also helps reduce skin irritation and keeps them warm during the day in their prison. I don't think that's right. Well, and they said, whenever I was listening, is they said that, uh, you know, that lie is a common household thing, whatever, that you can put it down the drain to help with the yeah. clogged drain and stuff. So I don't know. Because it, it degrades... Uh, uh, biological material, but they That's said right. whenever it's mixed with water, that it becomes alkalized and then it'll burn right. and do that. So I just always assumed whatever it is, lye or lime, but you're saying lime uh, just helps uh, decompose the body. That's what I thought. Yeah. For the record, no penal facility still uses delousing agents. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Once they did it to uh, Rambo. Well, whenever they, they did to Rambo, yeah, as well. they got Rambo. They, fire sure. they got fire hose them down first. Yeah. Did he bow? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, so Primus is in the market for a new drummer. Oh, because Tim Alexander abruptly quit the band via email. He just emailed him and said, I'm done. Hey uh, guys, I'm out. Yeah. The band announced on Tuesday that, uh, Tim quit Primus effective immediately. Primus says they were blindsided when Tim decided to quit. Uh, he has been a uh, part of the band since 1989. Mm. Well, I mean, Primus isn't out there. Doing are they? They're out there, yeah, oh. doing big shows. They're out there with uh Tool and with uh uh Maynard. Maynard goes out and sings with Tool and then he sings with Pussifer and then Primus is up there and they do a whole thing because I think I think I don't know whether Tim played with I think Tim plays with Pussifer. Oh wow. I think he might be the drummer for them. I'm not sure. I wonder if when they did the theme for South Park, they thought the show would get the run <laughs> right. that it has. Uh, yeah, you gotta you it's gotta like one of that. the longest running animated shows of all time. I remember that that was such a um do you remember there's there's a part of it where the little guy that you can't understand what he says kenny yeah is it kenny yeah is that kenny they killed kenny yeah uh what he says in the theme song no he, he's like wah, 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 wah. and i'll never forget it was graham lloyd from the yankees who told me what he said uh they pitched it down or whatever right. and he says, i like girls with big oh and i like girls with big old <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. I believe it. By the way, it looks like Tim is not the uh, drummer for Pussifer. I was wrong. Uh, but they were out. I know that they were out doing that because there was a bunch of them. They're all playing together and doing stuff. But yeah, Primus is out all the time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you know. I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan, but I know that they have their people that will go see them all over the place. I feel like if you're Primus and you're out the bass player, that's a big deal. Other than that, you're fine. Yeah. If Les Claypool's yeah. not in the band, it's no longer Primus. Right. Yeah, right. for sure. Uh, and then finally news, uh, today is National Sandwich Day. I love sandwiches. Yeah. What yes. would you say your favorite sandwich is? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, Gavin. I only eat uh, two sandwiches. I eat a roast beef sandwich if it's, like, if it's like a hero. Yeah. And I eat a turkey sandwich if it's just like a sandwich. But that's it. I hate all other lunch meat. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be lunch meat. What okay. would you say is the top sandwich? Uh, they had a poll. Are we including burgers in this? Uh, burgers are not because sandwiches. Because the first time I ever heard a burger no. referred to as a sandwich is in um, 
uh, the, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Robin Williams. What is that? Well, Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. He said, uh, now we got snacks. And he's like, will you hand me my sandwich? And I thought, I never referred to a burger as a sandwich. You shouldn't. I don't like no, that. I, I mean, that's like just it. my uh, personal opinion. It's not. meat yeah. between two pieces of bread. Right, but it's well, a burger. That's... We should ask the expert. Burger guy? Yeah. What would you oh. say? Uh, I feel that it's classified and it's on its own. It's yeah. on its own yeah. <laughs> yeah. as a yeah, burger. Okay. Okay. Hey, we should, we should argue if a hot dog is a sandwich. No. That would be fun. Yeah. And should you have pineapple <laughs> on a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a poll looked at it for the most popular sandwiches in America. Okay, 2,000 people were asked to name the sandwiches they considered to be their favorites. What would you say, number one, American Can you tell sandwich. me what number 10 is so I can get an idea Absolutely. of what you're talking about? Uh, it goes up to number eight. Uh, a little bit off because it says meatball sub. Yeah, but, right. uh, but it's a sandwich. I'm going to go simple. I think this is going to be number one. Number one. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly, not number one. What? But, uh, but certainly number on the list. Number one is grilled cheese. Number seven is peanut butter and jelly. Number one is grilled cheese. There you oh. go. Grilled cheese. I do love Keep it, it simple. Cheese. Keep it simple. Is, is hot ham and cheese on that? Can I tell you, grilled cheese, you know how you do it? Medium heat. Take oh, it nice oh, and slow. Yeah. Medium oh. heat. You don't want to get no too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to be able to melt the cheese properly and you don't want to burn the bread. Okay. Medium okay. heat. Mm. Lots of butter. Butter on the bread, butter in the pan. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever tried oh, yeah. mayonnaise on the uh, mm. bread to no, cook it? But I'm not mad at it. Very good. I'm not mad at it. It no. gets it nice and it's toasted. L- and it's a little oh. sweet. It gives like a little bit yeah. of sweet taste. This is just me because I love tomatoes so much. Good. I do grilled cheese and tomato. Oh, that's yes. the way. Oh, 100%. Nice. Out, out of that. Uh, so, number seven is peanut butter and jelly. You said hot ham and cheese. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, but I can tell you ham comes in at number four. Okay. So, a ham, ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. Mm. What about a club sandwich? A club. Oh. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Not on here. What? Oh. Uh, this is really weird. Uh, number six, I've never heard of before, but maybe it's just something that I don't know okay. because it ha- says it might also include something else, which I have heard of. Uh, number six, eggs, egg Sandos. An egg Sandy. It says egg Sandos, and it says that might also include egg salad. Uh. Okay. I'm Does anybody know what egg sandos is? Is that a no. Uh, no. Hispanic thing? I like egg salad. Huevo sandos? Oh, yeah. No clue. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Listen, Joe. Yeah. I like egg salad, too. Not a good road trip sandwich. Oh, no. Uh, no. So that is. You know who used to love egg salad sandwiches? Who? Frank Sinatra. Yeah? He used to have it in his writer. Oh. He had to have egg salad sandwiches <laughs> in his writer. You couldn't pay me to eat egg salad sandwiches. I, I, I it's I'm probably so, the only way I would like a, an egg is through with mayonnaise and other stuff. I'm so it. grossed out by like hard boiled eggs. Are you really? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That, that just the egg salad. Ugh. Horrible. That's how I feel about cooked eggs. Really? The texture and eggs just gross me out. Yeah. But you like egg salad? Mike? I, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say uh, I don't dislike it. I'm not making it. I'm not asking for it, but I need it. The only eggs I can tolerate would be like scrambled eggs with a lot of stuff mixed in, like cheese. Oh, and, oh. you know? uh, so uh, uh, the egg sando looks like it is a uh, Japanese oh. style of kind of egg salad type thing. Oh, that. and that really fluffy bread. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'm looking at it. Yeah, the bread does look very fluffy. Yeah. Uh, so I guess it's kind of a creamy. Uh, egg salad. Yeah, it looks really good. Looks like there's a lot of yolk in there. Yeah. All right, I'm out. Uh, Is BLT go- on there? Go to snacks. Uh, n- surprisingly, Joe, <gasps> no. Oh, I love a BLT. Me right? too. I can, <laughs> can I tell you a great BLT? Is uh, Rise Kitchen over at Hard Rock? All right. I mean, all, it's almost, got three, three ingredients. Almost. Too much bacon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they really, it's they like the really load it up. Too? Yeah, yeah, it's the real go. deal bacon, because I think it's the same bacon they use over at the uh, oh, let's order Council Oak. Council Oak, yeah. Let's just go to Council Oak. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine <laughs> with mean, me. Uh, number five, tuna. Nice tuna sandwich, everyone. I do enjoy on. a nice little tuna. What are you putting in your tuna? Celery. Yep. Really? You go celery? Mayo, celery, my salt, wife, and pepper. My wife does celery onions. as well. I like onions. Onions. I don't like celery. Occasionally, olives. Oh, I or, like green pepper. Or occasionally pickles. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. No pickles. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, number four, Joe, you got ham. Number three, Mike, your other favorite. Roast beef. Not roast beef. Turkey. Turkey. Oh. Turkey comes in at number three. Number two, chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Any kind of chicken sandwich. Sure. Grilled, fried, whatever you want to do. Sure. Number one in America. Today is National Sandwich Day. Number one favorite, grilled cheese. I How like many, it. How many different cheeses are you using? 
You well, just as go many as we have. Yeah. 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 Oh, as yeah. many as we have. I, would I don't know if you're just going craft single or if you're throwing a little... You need at least three pieces of cheese. But I'm saying like different kinds. You throw yes. a little provolone on there. You do yeah. mozzarella. I like to keep it all yellow. Can yeah. I tell you, Swiss is a good melt melted cheese. Yeah. Oh. Smells yeah. like feet. Yeah. Oh, Tastes Swiss like cheese feet. is so yeah. good. Listen, I I go all yellow or a, or a little different, like the one of the Colbys that have a different shades of yellow right, or orange right. in there. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I do not like a white grilled cheese sandwich. What about a little pepper jack in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. spice. Ooh, who doesn't yeah, love that? Yeah. White sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. Though. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to suck on this ice a little bit longer. Well, see if you have any mac and cheese in the oven. Let's oh. get an advent calendar. Whoppers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that is it for news. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gal. Got it. Got it. We must take a break. Our phone numbers, if you want to get through, 800-771-1025. We'll take a quick break. It's Mike Calta Show. This is 1025 The Bone. We do a lot of things to give away today, which we'll do before the show is over. Uh, right now, though, it is time just to go live from Texas and welcome our friend Cody Tucker to the show. Cody, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, man, I'm doing good. How are y'all doing? Good. You've had some uh, very interesting, a lot of history stuff this week on the uh, Cody Tucker Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's been... Uh coming up quite a bit. I yeah. saw he had uh, Fitzsimmons on. Yeah, oh, our nice. friend Greg Fitzsimmons was on the uh, on the program. Uh, he's he's quite the... Uh, I, I love that you get uh, you pull good guests. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Greg is... Yeah, he's awesome. Greg Fitzsimmons was on this show last to talk about his new special and he... Uh, I asked him just casually what it was like to work for Ellen because Ellen's got this bad reputation and yeah. he... He did not hold back. He said that uh, she was, there was a, um, uh, what was it, a, a protective order, a gag order. He wasn't allowed to talk. Like non disclosure. Non disclosure, yeah. thank you. And uh, he believes that since the non disclosure has probably run out and the world knows that she's a horrible person, that he can now say that she's the worst person in the <laughs> world. I, I, it's, so, it's so funny to me that it doesn't seem like she was that kind of person, but having wor- worked with. Uh, the second worst person in the world, I can understand that. So, uh, but what do we got this week, Cody? All right. So, since we have the uh, election coming up, figured I would uh, do some like president themed like uh, stories. I like it. So, uh, first one. So, Thomas Jefferson, besides, you know, writing the Declaration of Independence, uh, third president, uh, he was also very passionate about food. And whenever he was in Paris, he you know discovered all these different foods and wanted to bring them back to the U.S. and make them popular here. Right. So one of those things is that uh, he was the first person in America to request potatoes served in the French manner, aka oh, French, French fries. fries. Oh. Um, he also was the person who popularized mac and cheese. <laughs> and uh, that's, more, that's funnier than you know right now because. Sunday, we had a tailgate party, and I took a giant tray of mac and cheese home, put it in my oven, and forgot about it, and just threw it away yesterday with a full beard. <laughs> oh, God. Gross. And uh, he was also the first American to grow and eat tomatoes. Oh, wow. Really? I would love this yeah, guy. Go. He's yeah. your guy. Yeah, huh? yeah. He's yeah. mine and so Carmen's be- guy. Yeah, so before that, tomatoes, like, everybody had this idea that they were poisonous. So people thought like tomatoes would like you would die if you right, ate them. Right, so right. he used to walk around like the White House eating a tomato to like screw with people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see, I got so when Ronald Reagan was shot, you know, by John Hinckley to yep. impress Jody Foster, uh, barking up the wrong tree, as they say. <laughs> um, the Secret Service agent that got the president into the car, pretty much saved his life. Yeah, was a man named Jerry Parr. So Jerry Parr became a Secret Service agent in 1962 after watching and falling in love with the movie Code of the Secret Service. The star of that movie was Ronald Reagan. Oh, wow. That's full circle. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Actually, see if you can guess this one. The first president born in a hospital. Who do you think the first president to be born in a hospital was? Born in a hospital. (sighs) Madison. James Madison? Yeah. I Mike, you got a guess? No, I'm trying to think of who logically, what number, what when, when hospitals came around. It would probably be after Madison, and I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, Hoover. <laughs> I have no idea. So, Jimmy Carter. No oh, way! What? 
<laughs> oh, I guess, really? yeah. yeah. Well, think about it. I'm thinking about when they were president, so that doesn't make oh, any that's sense. True, yeah. It was when they were born, so yeah, that would make sense with Jimmy Carter. Holy yeah. Holy cow. Wow, that's yeah. wild. That's but still, insane. Jimmy, I mean, Jimmy Carter was born in, what, 1923, 24? He oh, just turned yeah. 100. I mean, that's not like that far back, but yeah, he was the first president born in a hospital. That's um, crazy. John Quincy Adams was the only president to have met George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was in the middle of both. So yeah. The, and the one at the beginning of the other. Yeah. And then, uh, geez, this is a weird one. So when President Benjamin Harrison's wife died, he married the niece of his dead wife, oh. who was 25 years younger Hot. than him. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 What so about, that niece referred yeah. to him as Uncle Ben. <laughs> weird. Oh, yeah. Um, his children were so disgusted that he married their cousin that uh, they didn't go to his funeral when he died in oh, 19. Oh, oh, poor Uncle Ben. <laughs> hey, uh, you think Lincoln was gay? Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, kind of both. I mean, if you look at pictures of Mary Todd, it's like, well, what Whoa, other yeah, option do you have? Yeah. <laughs> He was, he was pretty rough. Yeah. He was uh, dabbling all over the place. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. He just, oh, also, he just, it lends it to his, um, I don't know, he seems like kind of an emotional guy, and he, he and he seems also kind of, uh, I don't know, like I bet if he had better clothes to choose from, he'd dress nicer. Mm. You know what That's I'm true. He, he was also really into wrestling. Which oh, yeah. I don't know what wrestling was like back in the 1800s. Yeah, but why imagine. don't you take your shirt off yeah. and wrestle for a little while? Let me yeah. give you the shock. Exactly. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So uh, there's actually a story that's pretty interesting that Teddy Roosevelt, when when president, uh, he got blinded in his left eye, and the reason he got blinded is because whenever someone became the new heavyweight champion, he would invite them to the White House. And move all the furniture and box them. <laughs> really? <laughs> Great, the, the idea. <laughs> Great idea. Great yes. idea. Uh, like they that. should do that now. Yeah. They should do that now. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. How, are you a big wrestling fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of, it fell off, but I'll tell you, recently I've been watching that Undertaker <laughs> podcast. And, oh, it's uh, great. Yeah, because I know him a little bit, and... He is, I like, I, that's the guy. I don't know the wrestler, the dead wrestler guy. I know uh-huh. Mark the biker. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. seeing him now, knowing he's a funny guy and seeing him do the podcast, I think has been pretty interesting. And, and hearing yeah. him talk to, talk to people, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I was more of a fan of it as a kid, like yeah. growing up. Like, so when The Undertaker was like a big, you know, big thing. And, right. I mean, I don't really watch it. Now, no, I yeah, I didn't yeah. know you. You you look sometimes like you might be a guy who likes wrestling. Now, <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not I know not. whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta tell you, if you showed up for a backyard wrestling event, yeah, I, I would put money on you to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Cody Tucker. He joins us on the show every Thursday, and you can find him online at the Cody Tucker Show. What do you got coming up on your show? Uh. Just kind of, you know, same old stuff. I know got, sometimes uh, you have random porn stars on and other yeah, guests on the show. So that's pretty much what's going to be going on the next couple <laughs> weeks, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. Why, why yeah. the porn stars? Why not? Like, like I, I don't care either way. I think it's great. We've done our years of talking to porn stars. Are yeah. they big history buffs? Yeah. Just, what, that's the thing. Yeah. You seem like you're on a different intellectual level than they are. It seems that way, <laughs> but uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm, 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 trust me, this is a facade. Yeah, well, you do it. You pull it off very well, Cody. Thank you. Uh, Thank check you. out Cody Tucker on YouTube and on Instagram at the Cody Tucker Show. We'll check in with you next week, buddy. All right, man. Good 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 See you, man. Uh, I love that dude, man. He's great. Yeah, he's the best. I, I, I mean, I love having him on the show. I'm so glad that he does it, you know? Yeah. And that's all he does now. That's his job. Yeah, yeah. Good nah, for him. That's great. You yeah. find a little something that you can do and, uh, you know, figure out a way to make money doing it. I talk to him a lot, you know, setting up the calls. I'm like, Dad, he's such a nice guy. Like, he's just super nice. What do you think he looks like from the waist down? Do you think he's thin or you think he's like 600 pounds? And no, I don't think the top. Th- huh? It matches the top. Does it, though? I, I mean, sometimes guys grow out as they go down. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, he yeah. could be like a mountain. No, I think he's just kind of a big guy. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. I, I get that feeling, too. He remind- Wouldn't it be great if he got up and he was, like, 90 pounds? Huh. From, like, his waist <laughs> is just really tiny. Little baby yeah, leg, yeah, little yeah, chicken yeah. legs yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, he or re- if we found out he had no legs. He very much oh, reminds oh. me of Theo Vaughn. 
He does? Yeah. He's like a smart, way smarter. But he's just, not. His, I get the like his yeah. mannerisms and, you know, he's got the draw and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I can see that vibe. He's got, a little, he's got so much Texas in him. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I like him. I think he's great. Uh, he's a good part of the show. And and if you're not following him on Instagram, go do that because he put, really puts out some stuff there that uh, is very interesting in a nice, quick format, you know? Um, I just talked to my wife. Tonight is really, really shaping up the stink for me my a thursday so, yeah There's so my got football my daughter is going to her friend's house to go trick-or-treating right now i have to go what why yeah right why i because thought that was the whole point of her going my wife doesn't feel comfortable dropping her off uh, these people that she doesn't know to take her around the neighborhood which i think is a good parent i understand and i agree with her but also not if that means i have to go yeah she can't go then <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. well, so Halloween's canceled. She yeah. said, "My wife was like, you don't have to go. I'll go." But as a husband, I realized that is not going to work out for me in the end. But you got to get up tomorrow, Friday, and like you got a morning show, like a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, you go talk to her. You watch right. football. Go talk to her. So watch football. Is this like a new friend then? No, but in school, I mean, she's only we only know these people since September. You know mm. what I mean? Right. And now we're, we're bad neighborhood. At, no, no, yeah. no. There's Ooh. nothing bad at all. No, oh my is it not a gated community? Like out of, <laughs> I think it is a gated community. Question, like out question. Of, yeah. Are they white? I, oh, <laughs> is that the problem? Well, well, Mike I, seems to. I assume uh, that they are white, yes. Yeah. Not enough know. refrigerators. I don't know their refrigerator <laughs> count. But you people, I'm trying to help. I mean, yeah. For once, I'm take my side out. on. <laughs> don't take my side for once. <laughs> Gonna go trick or treat with the poor. Yeah. So. No. They need to go from house to house to get their candy. Yeah, we can just and, go in the closet. And, you know, get and the, they have to walk. They're not. Yeah. Taking, they're not taking a golf oh, cart. Golf cart? Oh. Yeah. oh, if I had a golf cart, I'd just drive around all night. <laughs> so you're gonna walk with the the two girls? No, no, it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> so my wife goes. Uh, I have the option to either drop her off and let her walk with the family, or we can go walk with them. And I went. Well, she said I can go walk. Oh around. no! And I went. uh Oh, well, you don't want to do that. And she goes, I don't know. I don't, I, you know, I've never met these people before. I feel uncomfortable. And that's a good parent thing to do, you know? And and then she said, I go, all right, well, I'm not going to leave you out by yourself. You don't know these people. I'll go walk with oh, you, too. Be so much awkward conversation. Oh, I don't mind. I'm sure the people will be fine. But I said to uh, my wife, I go, uh, how long are we going to do? And she goes, I don't know about how long. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. That's what she said. Uh, yeah. that's Two that's hours. Long, yeah. That's how long trick or treating is. I mean, that's the standard. And also, you know, for the kid, yeah, you don't want to be out there two hours. The kid wants to be out there for two yeah, hours. They want two hours. hours. Two How much candy does one kid need? That's rough. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's rough. I would say two hours is the minimum. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, <laughs> did you ever want to do it? Yeah. Did, no. Your wife can do it. Come on. What? She likes that kind of Don't stuff. Don't listen to Gio. No, she doesn't. Let her know. Say, listen, football's on, and we have football picks. I have to watch and make sure yeah. that everything's right. <laughs> yeah. Is she going to be armed when she goes? Hello? Hi, you're live on the air. Hi. Listen, I, I don't know how to say this, <laughs> but I don't really want to go tonight. I know. You don't want to go anywhere or do anything. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to our marriage. Wow. Okay. Just, I mean, Don't go. You, when you said two hours, I got to tell you, that really sent me in a, that really sent me spinning. Two hours. That's on the low end. That's. I mean, yeah. I got to get up early. Okay. We're talking. Yeah. All right. See? Don't see? Oh, you see? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh. I'll be there. Don't worry about it. I'll be there and I'll be happy about it. No. Yes. You're please let me go. Please let me go. Please let me go. No. No, please, no. please, please, no. please, please, please. Don't, don't try to please. reverse psychology. No, no, I want to go because I, I know you're it's going to bite me. Three no, hours. I'm sorry. Three I'm sorry. I'm please, sorry. three hours. Three hours. Let's go for three hours. <laughs> you're out. Oh. You're out. Oh. I'll Bye. go. You stay home. This is good. This is perfect. <laughs> Have a good day. You're not coming. I got to go. I'm going to take a nap after the show because I'm, I'm putting at least three hours in tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay? What, what time does it start? What time does nope. it start? Gio wants to know. I don't know. I think probably like six. Oh, six thirty. So we're also going to miss Jeopardy. Yes. <laughs> stop it. Wow. You stop it. Six thirty. How far is the neighborhood no. from here? Yeah. Where is it? It's close. Galvin has some. Galvin has some questions. Amanda, are they white? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
What? Galvin's asking if they're white people, which yeah. I don't know why that would matter. I'm running a couple Google searches over here, too. Okay. Just to make oh sure. Wait, about white people? All right, well, count me in. I'm in, Amanda. Mm-hmm. I'm in hey, for at least, yeah. Let her know you already have your costume, sad husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going as happy as... <laughs> oh, you heard that, huh? Uh, All right, well, listen to me. I'm looking forward to holding hands and walking through oh, the neighborhood yeah. so we don't know oh, together yeah. and getting bit by bugs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dominus Fabiscus. Yep. You don't get mad at me. I didn't start this whole thing. Yes, you did. I did? You just called me. Yeah, but I, I think we should just let her go. She'll be fine. She's yeah. got to learn the hard way. She's. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Nope. Middle school now. Yeah. I mean, you know. First, she sometimes, kids have to, sometimes kids have to eat dirt in order to build up germs. First, she didn't go to Taylor Swift. Oh, no, I, didn't go to, I don't know. I didn't go to Taylor Swift. I don't have to. I got her the tickets. That was my job. Oof. All right. Now, I you wanna, now you don't want to go trick or treating? No, I don't. Okay. All right. You don't, I don't even need to be on the phone. You you are just talking to yourself. No, I'm talking to Carmen. You <laughs> can't hear her. She's in my headphones. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. right. I got to go. I love you. All right. What about All right. the friend right. that you. went to Taylor Swift? Why can't she take her? Dude, they live far away. Oh. Uh, yeah, by the way, that conversation with your wife, all she hears is, yeah, yeah, no. Right. She's yeah, right. I know. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, is he having a stroke? Mm. I got to tell you, this Six really thirty. Sucks. Mm. Oof. <sighs> that means you're getting home like 9.30, oh, 10 o'clock. And I've been walking the been whole time. Walking, yep. sweating. How so old's now, your daughter? Uh, 11. It's 11. Mm. What grade is that? She's in middle Six, school, right? Sixth grade. Yeah. She can go trick or treating by herself. Yeah, that's why you look how you turned out. Yeah. Independent, tough. Yeah, you didn't get any love hey, from your I'm father. Able, I'm able to I'm able to live a life. Went around and found the first guy with no I'm, eyebrows that would love you. <laughs> tough. B H tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dingy clothes. <laughs> Dingy. <laughs> Making your own detergent. Yeah. yeah. Don't trust anybody. Yeah. Two jobs. Two jobs. You don't trust anybody. Two jobs. Two jobs. Uh, Self sufficient. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Gross. I'll be there. Thanks, Carmen. <laughs> You're welcome. Yep. You made me realize I need to be there for that kid the whole way through. <laughs> I'm going to turn it out like some people I know. Have you met these parents yet? Or this is the no, I don't time? even know the kid. No, that's the reason. Oh, that's, that's the reason they're not it. just dropping her off. Yeah. Because yeah. if it's someone they know, then they're like, all right, we can, yeah. she can go with them. We know them and this and that. These are new people. So it's mm-hmm. like. I mean, I mean, no, they, they, my wife knows the kid, you know, and the kid's been. Yeah, but, stuff. but also Halloween is like the perfect time for the kids. Kidnapping to, yeah. 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 You get to wear a costume and yeah. be like. Yeah, but also I think it's almost a little bit safer because she's not going in the house. How like do you know? You don't know whose house she's going into. I don't, but that's what. But I would think like you drop her off and you make sure they leave, and once they leave, you don't need to go walk around with yeah, them. Yeah. But no, it's worse. I don't mean the pe. I'm sure the people that she's going with are fine people. Because I'm saying, yeah, you know, like she, her her fellow <laughs> students' parents. Like I'm sure they're fine. When you say fine, you mean white? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? I don't care what color they are. Oh man! No, but but yeah, you don't know these people, so they may not be paying attention as much. And then your daughter gets snatched, and they're like, "What happened to the kid?" Right, they're comfortable with their kid. They're worried about their kid. Do you think these parents know you? Are you? I don't know. Like Mike Cal's a radio host. I, right, no I think idea. that puts a different spin on it too. Why? Because no one's gonna let anything happen to your kid. Oh, I don't know. You know where they live. You know where their kid goes to school. Or he's the perfect target. Fourteen it's fridges. True. He's got it's money. Sure, they come out of my fridges. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. man, I'm a can't. This is why I hate Halloween. Wow. This is yeah. why I hate it. Yeah. Don't blame the holiday, <laughs> Carmen. Yeah. I want I want the Christmas tree up tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked Amanda, I go, "Can we put the Christmas tree up this weekend?" Yeah. I want instant Christmas. Once Halloween's over, I want it over. Oh, it's Christmas time. I have to tell you, I love what JoJo does here. She left the Christmas tree up, but she just made it a holiday tree. Yeah. yeah. And every uh, month, it's a different holiday. Boom. That is the perfect decoration. No, mm. blasphemy. Yeah. I, don't <laughs> like no, I, don't like I, I yeah. went in there. Last time I was there, it was... Uh, like Hispanic Heritage Tree Month or something. Yeah, I don't like I don't that. Yeah, that's like the uh, Burger King ever. Christ is King chicken sandwich. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, like for the f- uh, beginning of football season, it had all the different uh, football teams flags and stuff on it. Yeah. Like, that what is cool. it now? I guess we'll see it today for the Halloween luncheon. Oh, you're coming to that? I come to all the luncheons. Is, is there a luncheon today? It's tomorrow, isn't it? 
No, it's to, it's Halloween. It's today. I, 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 no, they, the important one got moved back to. Yeah, they keep on pushing that November fifteenth. Right, but the lunch is today. I thought that was yesterday. Uh, I think you're wrong. Yeah. yeah. I you should go. go. You should I am go. going. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours minimum. Right. Hello, everybody. I'm going to I'm going to Burger King and getting the crucifixion fries. <laughs> okay. And also, also, Mike, remember this is the one where all the kids are here. Yeah, I uh, love kids. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. why you want to come. What is that? Uh, <laughs> that's not. Fair. You're not bringing your kid, but you're going to see other kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to see the kids. I'm, I'm going out. because there's an all staff luncheon. Mm. I'm a good employee. I don't think there is. There, yeah. of course there is. Uh, check your email. The one there, I did, the is. one they keep on pushing back. Yeah, that, that's that, that's just a visit from Dan. That's not a uh, that's not a luncheon. Today is the Halloween. No, all, it's a all staff lunch with Dan York. Right, but what I'm there saying is, there is a lunch today. today. So okay, lunch. apology accepted. You said that one was a lunch. I accept your apology and I accept your money. Where is it? Oh, oh yeah, did you send it? <laughs> send it. Yeah. No, you didn't. I to didn't. where? Wow. I zelled you. You zelled me. Yeah. I believe you. Zelled it. Zelda. Oh. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to give some stuff away from you. Maybe we could play a little whose tweet is it. If not, we'll surprise you with something else, but we will play a game and we will do it next. So, Mike, help the show. This is 1025. It. It's in there. <laughs> no. Look again. Look again. No. He said he's Zelda. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm looking at Zelda. We got to go to break. You it's didn't 1025. Send it. You have to pay your debts. Otherwise, I don't pay you for Death Pool. It's interesting. I'm not playing Death Pool. My son's coming here with a sack of pennies to pay. Wait, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Your son's leaving with a sack of pennies. Also, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll take a quick break. A game next. It's Mike Cal. The show. It's 102.5 The Bone. This is that TV show that uh, um, Tom Hanks and Robin Wright are promoting right now, where they shot the whole movie in one scene. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why, but they just showed like a nuclear explosion. Is that how it ends or starts? Or I think it. Yeah, it starts from like even before the house. Is there? Oh, so, so it was like a big bang theory. Kind it of starts thing. like dinosaurs and the meteor uh, hits and stuff. Okay. Yeah, that should be pretty interesting. It looks like a, and the, they say the camera never moves. It's just yeah. one yeah. single shot the entire movie. Yeah, I don't know uh, how that's gonna work. You know, obviously there's been a lot of things where I was like, oh, I don't know how that, and then yeah. it turned out good. I got to tell you though, from what I've seen of this, it does not look like they try and make Tom Hanks younger. And it just looks bad. Yeah, you know how old Tom Hanks it's is. It's that uh, the CGI de aging they do. Yeah, go that, look it up. How old is Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks is sixty three. Nope. Sixty seven. Nope. Sixty eight. Yep. Sixty eight. Wow. I know he's old. It still yeah. looks pretty good. It really looks great. Yeah. But I mean, uh, he's almost seventy years old, and that's officially old seventy. Yeah. The big thing about this is all the you know Zemeckis and everybody that did Forrest Gump right. did this movie. So it's them, so. Yeah, I mean, I it looks. I I keep trying to find that Saturday night movie somewhere, so I don't have to go to the movie theater and see it. But yeah. It's not out yet. But oh, yeah. I mean, who's going to the movies? I even want to see that movie, and I'm not going to the movie. Yeah, the thing is now, like the movie, even when they're in the theaters, like it seems like two or three weeks later, it's you can see right. it at home. Right. So Tom we, Cruise gets me in the movies. Tom Hanks does not. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Still staying home. I, I like Tom Hanks, but I'm not going. Yeah, to I'm kind of interested to see this movie. It looks yeah. like it might I mean, be good. I also, I think I'm good with the trailer until somebody says watch yeah, it yeah. or don't watch it. Crew you know? superior to Hanks. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Yes. I would just say Cruise motivates me to go see a big screen movie. Cruise superior to Hanks. You're saying what I said. Tom Cruise is the better of the two Toms. Yes. Better actor? I like the movies better. Better actor? What's the best... Tom Hanks movie up against the best Tom Cruise movie. Best Tom Cruise movie. I think I'm going to go Top Gun Maverick. Nope. <laughs> mm. What it's do you think is best? Few Good Men. Few Good Men? Yeah. That's According cool. to Ian, he's not the star of that. <laughs> uh, a Few Good Men. All right. And then what do you say is the best uh, Tom Hanks? Forrest Gump? <sighs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Forrest Gump's got to be. You know, I love that thing you do is my favorite, but not that. Forrest Gump's pretty good. Yeah, but okay. So you say, what do you want to watch? Forrest Gump or A Few Good Men? I'm going to A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men. Ten right. out of ten. All right. What, do you want to go to that thing you do? That thing you do. Or Top Gun the original. That thing you do. That thing you do. Mm -hmm. right. But I don't feel like Tom Hanks is the star of that. I know, but it's a Tom Hanks movie. It is. He wrote it. It is. It. Um, I quit, Mister White. Let me. Let me. I have to I look up. <laughs> I have I to look up Tom Hanks movie. Okay. And then I'll. And then. Gio, you pull up Tom Cruise movies, All right. and we'll see. We'll challenge you, Galvin. Tom Hanks. There we go. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, Mission Impossible against Bridge of Spies. 
Mission Impossible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I wouldn't compare those two. Well, I kind of did both Cloak and Dagger, kind of, you know. Yeah, 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 I get you. Uh, okay. All right, I got Cruz. Castaway. Okay. The Last Samurai. Ooh, I like them both, but I'm going to go Castaway. Yeah. Big. Mm-hmm. Or Risky Business. Risky business. I would take big. I would take big. Big Big is good. Philadelphia Mm. or Vanilla Sky? I'm I'm going to give you my reasoning. I'm going to pick Vanilla Sky. Penelope Cruz. Because he doesn't have AIDS. (laughs) (laughs) That just keeps me out. You don't know that, by the way. Excuse me out. I think that's fair. By the way, Vanilla Sky, yeah, if you could put Penelope Cruz, Penelope Cruz in anything, I'm picking yeah, that movie. That was, that was the thing. I'll pick a Nes- Nespresso commercial over anything, <laughs> or whatever the hell it is. Uh, go ahead, Gio. Jerry Maguire. Uh-huh. Or Catch Me If You Can. Oh, good one. Jerry Maguire. <gasps> I go Catch Me If You Can. I go Catch Me If You Can. Oh, listen, I love Catch Me If You Can. He's great. Uh, yeah. Would but, you be willing to accept this? Hmm. Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, draw. No. Really? Hmm. They're very, I mean, they're, I think they're neck and neck. I'd say it's a draw. I go, listen, both good, but I Who go. Who would you superior, rather bang? Superior. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm picking his movies more as Tom, Tom Cruise. Would you accept a draw if it was the Super Bowl? No. Exactly. No draw. Yeah. Everything's yeah. a competition. But I find that this one. It shows that he's, I, I mean, what we've said so far to... Uh, so far, I'm three to one, Cruz to Hanks. <clears throat> no, that's not true. Not I three am. to one. Yeah, I'm certainly... I am. thought it was about even. All right. No, it's three to one, Cruz to Hanks. I'm keeping score right here. Days of Thunder. Uh-huh. Robin's or, Racer. All right. The Green Mile. Mm. Percy. I do love Stephen King. Days of Thunder. Oh. oh. Days of Thunder. Wow. Flash it's humor. a better movie Flash than the humor. Green Mile. Yeah, it's more fun. <laughs> Green Mile. Oh. Yeah, Green Mile. It's kind of a much. drag. Yeah, he's all sweaty and he's having trouble peeing and stuff. And then bees come out of the guy's mouth. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, yeah he, you convinced me actually. Now, yeah, uh, I mean, those yeah. guys are racing in wheelchairs and then they yeah. race their rental cars and you know and he kills the mouse. They hate each other and then they have fun. Yeah. Mm. Uh, All right, I I agree. So there you go. Now I'm four one. <laughs> you convinced me. <laughs> Cruz to Hanks. What else you got? You got any more? Is that it? Apollo thirteen. Apollo thirteen. Oh, phenomenal movie. All right. Against. I don't know. I don't have the cruise list. What do you got for me from Cruise? Any Apollo space th- cruise? Any space cruise uh, movies? Hold on, hold on. Okay. The day Apollo after thirteen. Day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, you're yeah. crazy. Oh, I'm not yeah. crazy. You're talking about a futuristic fiction movie That's over. That's great. Uh, the, the, the oh my god. That's great. <laughs> okay. Interview with the vampire. Oh, all right. Or uh uh-huh. Saving Private Ryan. Oh. Better movie which better movie? Interview with the vampire. What? Oh yeah. No way. I like it better. I like it better. Oh my Listen, Saving Private Ryan's a great movie. All the right moves. Splash. Splash. Okay. Yeah, Splash. I'll give you Splash on that one. Splash. Is great. I'll give you Splash on that. I love John Candy and Splash. <laughs> yeah, it was so, so great. great. Yeah. <laughs> I w- I'm going to say Officially on my end of it, not yours, Galvin. I can't okay. speak for you. Draw. No draws. I mean, I, 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 no draws. Well, then, no I, draws. I, then I too picked Tom Cruise. <laughs> you really? picked Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah I, you're on my side. Yeah, but uh, not by much. It doesn't. I doesn't know. matter. Did I they know. win the Super Bowl or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying to you that uh, Tom Cruise is. I'm more attracted to a Tom Cruise movie than I am a Tom Hanks right. movie. Although I've enjoyed both of them thoroughly over the years. Uh, completely Agree, okay. but that's not the point of the yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. Okay, Olive I'm Garden just... is the best restaurant. It's better no, than any. Yeah. I've never had a better meal anywhere else than Olive Garden. That is not. That is entirely so, not true. <laughs> if you had to never watch another Tom Hanks movie ever again, I can only watch Tom Cruise. Movies. And if you only watch Tom Cruise movies, uh, I'd survive with that. You'd survive. Yeah, yeah. sure. If I could only but pick one, I would pick Tom. You're Cruise losing movies. that thing you do. You're losing, you know, you're losing a lot of good I mean, ones. That hurts but me do a you want to lose Mission Impossible? No, Top Gun? All, all seven Mission Impossibles. Right. No way. You know what I mean? No way. I'd have to stick with Tom Cruise. American Made. Oh, American Made. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about. American Made. Jack Reacher. Oh yeah. 
Both Jack Reachers are great. I'm Edge, in. Edge I'm of in tomorrow, by the way, was the uh, other one. Uh, in my mind, he's driving around listening to the show in downtown Clearwater going, ah, I'm so glad I beat Tom <laughs> Tropic, yeah. Tropic Thunder. I mean, come on. Yeah. I think you guys are leaning Tom Cruise just in case he's listening. By the way, also, <laughs> Collateral. I think we have a better chance of Tom Hanks listening by accident than we do Tom Cruise listening. On collateral. Purpose. The Firm. The Firm. I oh. forgot about The Firm. I mean, there's so many. Color of Money. <laughs> Rock of Ages. Oh, excuse me. Cocktail. Yeah. Cocktail. Cocktail. Mm-hmm. Rain Man. Oh. Yeah, Tom Hanks doesn't Tom have... Tom Hanks is not even that great. He doesn't have any like franchises like Mission Impossible. Toy Story. Nah, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> But it's not really him. It, I mean, is, it him. is, but it's not. Yeah. But it is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Do you know I found out? I was talking to my... Uh, that was easy. The more I think yeah, about it, like, yeah. All right. I, I just said, like, you don't see him. <laughs> I was talking to my brother the other day, and uh, my nephew Tommy... Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but my nephew Tommy's having a baby. Yeah, you already did. I did. <laughs> yeah. uh, and last time, you're like, I probably shouldn't say this. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, well, I don't know if I said this part, but when his brother... Billy was born. Tommy cried because they would not name the baby Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> no, <laughs> that'd be great. It would be know, great if your name was Buzz Lightyear Calton. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Or even Buzz. Buzz Buzz Calton yeah. would be Buzz Calton. Then you find out his middle name's Lightyear. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know how many people name their kid uh, the middle name Danger? Yeah. No, I mean that was cool for the one kid. Mm. No, it's too many. All right, we got a lot of things to give away, Carmen, don't we? We do. Let's do it right now with a little whose tweet isn't anyway. Here we go. Let the tweeting begin. It's time to play whose tweet isn't anyway. On the Mike Kelter Show. All right, Galvin, let's give some stuff away with a little whose tweet isn't anyway. All right, so I am going to pick a tweet from somebody who is on air on the Bone Staff, and uh, you guys are going to. Oh, I messed that up. Whoops. Okay, I was trying to save it to my phone there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to read the tweet. You guys try and figure out who it is. First one to get to three is going to win a prize for somebody on the phone lines. All right, so your first tweet up is this one. We're going to go with. Uh, oh, come on. So many things. So bachelor, many things. Bachelor party? Yeah, bachelor party's yeah, great. Yeah. Bachelor great. party's great. What? Uh, all right, your first tweet. A two-point conversion pick to the house? Three question marks. It's just so gee darn. Oh, well, uh, sorry. I didn't realize that it said that in there. Never mind. That gives it away too much. Oh, okay. That's way too easy. Read it so we can just see it. Anyway. Buffalo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this one. I've been tasked. With grading homework tonight, dot, dot, dot. I hate it with a sad like, uh, emoji. Who would be done. grading homework? Joe's done. Done. Carmen's done. <laughs> what? Baby Panda sneezed. I've been tasked with grading homework tonight. Yep. And this person hates it. <sighs> Who is a teacher? No. All right, done. No, no, I'm not done. Gia's done. I'm done. You're no. way behind, guy. <laughs> Wait, none of you. No, 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 no. Change, change, change. Change it too. Yeah. Oh, change it, change it. Done. Done. All right, everybody locked in? Oh, no. Can I switch? No! no. Yeah. Go ahead, I'm go ahead, Carmen. You can switch. You can switch. Switching. You're totally fine. Okay, done. Uh, Joe, the only one that didn't switch, I'll start with you. Who you got? That's Dizzy. You said it's Dizzy. Yep. Mike Kelta, who did you have? That's who did you change it to? If somebody is letting Dizzy great homework, that's irresponsible. <laughs> wow. uh, I had a JP. Mm-hmm. I assume one of them is married to a teacher. I had JP cross out and I put Brett. Okay. Gio, who did you have? Who did you change it to? I think by homework, she means some type of show thing. That's Monica. He says Monica. Oh. All right. Who did you have? I had Dizzy. And then you change it to Monica. Yes. Carmen, who did you have? Who did you change it to? I had Will Koontz. Okay. But there's some information there that I don't want to share in case <gasps> people don't know. What do you know about Koontz? Don't worry about it. Uh, and I switched it to Johnny B. What? I think his I think his girlfriend is a t- or his wife is a teacher, but I don't know. She's so, not. No, she's, she's not. not. Darn it. Yeah. What do you know about Koontz? She's a nurse. Yeah. I ain't telling you. Okay, like what did I have to do with? With Twitter. Oh. Is oh, it? I know. <laughs> Yeah. I know. I yeah. know. You get banned from Twitter? Yeah, I don't know. No, but uh, whatever. Now that we're talking about it, yeah. you're going to figure it out. He deleted his. Oh, yeah. yeah so I would too, he, if I were him. 
Yeah. So he is no longer going to be... He just blew up the whole account. <laughs> ...in this game, basically, right? I mean, we didn't talk about it, but yeah. now we did. <laughs> uh, well, I will tell you, one of you got it right. Thank you. One of you had it right God and changed it to it. somebody else. Oh. The person that had it right and changed it to somebody else was Gio. Joe got it right. It's no. Dizzy. Oh. Dizzy's dating the girl that has the kids. That's right. So oh. he, uh, oh. the kid. yeah. All right, one kid's homework. All right, yeah. now I know. You can't trust that kid. The girl. I like oh. that. How you like that? You guys got it wrong. I don't and, like it at all. And uh, Gio switched it. That's the tough one. Whatever Eddie. you. I think Carmen putting Will's info stuff out there. Oh. Yeah, right? He put it out there. I mean, right. you put it out there. Joe has one. <laughs> Joe has one. Here we go. Your next one. I've never seen boomers more confused than when they're at a cashless venue and only have water in the can. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing face emoji. Done. <laughs> Carmen's done. Uh, done. Gio's done. Mike's done. Let's say you, done. boomer. Boomer's done. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, Carmen, who you got? FTW. No, this with, is, oh. You don't have any points. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is Galvin. You say that's me. All right. Joe, who do you think it is? I went with Johnny B. You say Johnny B. Mike Kelter, who you got? I had. Hold on. Alexa, <laughs> volume zero. Sorry. Check his paper. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, uh, you had me an emoji at the end. I picked Monica. You say Monica. Yeah. Gio, who do you think it is? That's Dizzy. You say that's Dizzy. Mm-mm. Who is it, Carmen? It's Galvin. You better believe it. See, yeah, he, I, I, he I told first, us the story. I, yeah, I said I it was Galvin, and then I heard some emoji, and I thought, uh, sorry. I, I sat there and I they were it was unbelievable. Two ladies and they were like, well, "You yes. don't take money? No, yeah, it's cashless venue. Yeah. Cashless? What? Can I write a check? Like they were so confused. <laughs> hey, you use your phone or your I credit card, whatever. That, and then can I get a bottle of water? And they put the liquid death up there and they go, "No, I don't want beer. Oh, no, geez. it's water in a can." What concert was this? Uh, Chicago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, It was Chicago. Uh, All right. Carmen has one. Joe has one. Mike and Gio, zero right Uh, now. Let's see if we can get some uh, points on the board. Uh, Your next tweet. About three times a year, I love a good Triscuit. Done. Mike Kelt is done. Done. Carmen's done. Done. Gio's done. Done. And Pap Pap's done. Gio, I'll start with you. Whose tweet is that? Johnny Triscuit. Johnny B. You say that's Johnny T. Johnny B. Uh, Carmen, who do you think it is? I feel like he likes Triscuits more than just three times a year. That's Corey Cardinal. Oh, all right. Uh, Pap Pap, who you got? I'm going with John Senning on this one. And Mike Kelter, what do you think? That's a back-to-back Galvin tweet. Galvin is a try try it three times a year Triscuit guy. <laughs> try Triscuit. Try Triscuit. It's not try it three times a year. It's love it three times a year. And it's you, dum dum. Oh. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said about three times a year, I love a good Triscuit. And that was just in May of this year. Huh? You said that. Huh? <laughs> I love Triscuit a good guy. Triscuit, huh? Huh? Uh, I tweeted that? in May. How about that? Uh, yeah. Something. It did. <laughs> You thought, uh, I need the world. The world needs to know this. I knew it was somebody <laughs> very funny. Uh, this has uh, a uh, I voted sticker on a table. A picture of it, and it says "democracy." Get you some. Done. With an exclamation point. Democracy. Get done. you some. Mike's done. Pep What's the done. picture? It's a picture of I voted sticker, but it's uh, sitting on the table, so it's not off the actual paper. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Carmen says, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." yeah. Stop gotta, talking. No, I got you. I got you. I gotta think it through. All right. Thank you. Done. Whoa. All right. Carmen's done. Okay. All right. Slurping. Gio's done? Yeah. All right. Carmen, I'll start with you. Whose tweet is that? She makes me juicy. That's Monica. Oh, Whoa. all right. <laughs> Mike Helta, who you got? I just finished. Uh, I had Mo. <laughs> you say Mo? Yeah. Pap Pap, who do you think it is? I'm with uh, Spike on the mic. Uh, Spike on the mic. Yep. And Gio, who you got? I'm a Spike. <laughs> I said Brett. I said Brett. One of you got it right. He doesn't get his own tweets, but he got Mo. That is Mo. Oh, Mike Helta gets a point. Geo, the champ. Uh, yeah, I'm just off. looking for a comeback here. I'm yeah, looking. I'm looking for a fifth inning, five run. Yeah, comeback. Uh, all right. Uh, Geo has zero. Everybody else has one. Your next tweet. Hmm. How about this? Also, political. 
Next tweet says this debate sure could use Will Smith. Whose tweet is that? Done. Mike's done. Done. Geo's done. Done. Pat Pap's or Carmen's done. Hey. Also done. Well, Pat Pap looked like he was right, <laughs> ready to say it. Okay, I was like, I sound like Pat Pap. <laughs> Geo, let's get some points on the board. Who is that? Johnny B. That's Johnny B. Pap Pap, who you got? Spike on the mic. Carmen, who do you think it is? Stupid tweet, stupid mo. And Mike Kelter, who you got? Stupid tweet, stupid me. I think it's me. Stupid tweet. Stupid you. Yeah, oh, that was Mike right. yeah, <laughs> That was Mike yeah. Kelta. And you can't even say that's cheating because he didn't get the other one. No. Uh, all right. So Mike has two. Carmen has one. Joe has one. The champ. Not on the board yet. Yeah. Not on the board yet. Uh, this next one has the uh, picture of the actor and then the picture in character who is Cochise from Warriors. And it says, R.I.P. Cochise. Done. 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 Gio's done. Mike's done. Pap Pap's done. Is it that obvious? Yes. What's the picture of? It's Coach from. Cheese. It's a, a movie called Warriors. Uh, that came out what early eighties. Oh, yeah. Swiss, Swiss cheese. Uh, Carmen, you said you're done. Yeah. All right. Uh, Carmen, who you got? Movie Mo. You says Mo. Pap Pap, who you got? Going with Mo. Going with Mo. Gio, what do you think? On the board. That's Mo. You saying that's Mo? Mike Kelty, you can win it all right here. Directed by Mo. You say Mo? I mean, to the paper. You didn't write that. I didn't write it down, but it is Mo. Uh, no, that's cheating. I, you my, can't. You're cheating. Oh, uh, listen, Did I'm not. You? I had a technical. We bring the boom. <laughs> yeah. I had technical difficulties, and my page disappeared. He, you just admitted to cheating. No, I didn't. Cheating. Admit. I was the first one to say done. It, but you weren't done, and you didn't go first. You could have changed your answer yeah, after all sorry. of us went. I hitch right here. You want to see it? it it doesn't count. It does count. How can it not count? It's not on the paper. I mean, listen. I had a malfunction with my thing. It, it my, my page I, is from the other day. Pen I'm, and paper. I, listen, I am letting you know right now that I am only the host of whose tweet is it? You guys have to decide on your own. D DQ. DQ. You've got to be kidding me. It's a well, movie. Hang quote. on. That's we two, write that's it down. two out of four. Yeah. Joe, what do you? Well, Mike, you say no DQ. No you DQ. You say fair. Joe, no. it's up to you. If you say DQ, <laughs> as, <laughs> I mean, as Mike turns, uh, uh, all up, do uh, I have to vote? If you say yes. DQ, he does not get the point. The game continues. If you say good, he wins the game. Game over. Can I cheat for a second? No. no. What's the answer? Did he get it right? No, it doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. No, but it's not. Like, if Shut you your mouth. I say no DQ. Thank you. <laughs> Mike Kelta wins the game. Hey! You're the worst. You're the worst. Are there no rules? No. Yeah, leave it up to, no leave it up to the guy whose listen job is on the line. I mean, can no I just rules. jump in here for a second, okay? First of all, I'm a king of integrity. I no, you're not. Oh, oh, I invented yeah. integrity. I invented integrity. I'm no. the first person to say it. No. Oh. Hey, right there. Listen. No. The other thing I'm not involved in, that you're out of your goddamn mind. Yeah. Nobody has ever called you the king of integrity. <laughs> no. uh, I mean, I've called you that, Michael. This, yeah. Yeah. Listen, to me. listen to me. Listen no to me. No integrity in the corner. Listen Hang on, Carmen. Unless it was said like this. Oh, the king of integrity yeah. over here. Yeah. It? Let me explain. No. I, write, I use a digital notebook. That's not my problem. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but listen to me. I use a digital notebook, and for some reason, I was writing, and it wasn't writing. So that I hit a bunch of tapped a bunch of buttons and it went back to a show page from two days ago. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't write it down because my list was gone. That's the only reason why it was a movie thing. Of course it was Mo. Listen to me. DQ. If I was involved in the, you know, whether you did it or not, whatever, I would say, hey, future boy, right on paper. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah. If if, if you no would have said, if you would have said, Coaches, rest in peace. Cross, cross, prayer hands, emoji, fire, emoji, emoji, emoji. We all would have went, Monica. Mm -hmm. Same way you when you have go, to write it shut down. your goddamn yeah. tweet. No, no, you have to write it down. That's the reason why we have to write it down. The same way as when you said movie, I went Mo immediately. It doesn't matter. You didn't write it down. It doesn't count. I don't all right. know. Yeah. All right, don't count it. Just qualify. No, dude, no, no, you, you want it? You want it? You get it. You get it. Listen to me. The judges have already ruled. You said DQ. Carmen said DQ. Mike said no DQ. He said no DQ. That's two and two. That's two and two. 
Yeah, so we need a tiebreaker. So tie you're the tiebreaker. Oh, tie I'm yeah. 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 You're the tiebreaker. I'm, uh, I'm, not even, I'm not even looking at Godwin. I'll look right at you. Unfortunately for you, them's the rules. You have to okay. write it down. That's right. a DQ. Right. Yeah. Then it's DQ. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Thank you. Go to the next one. Integrity. Galvin Thank did you. invent integrity. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I hope you get hit by integrity on the way home. <laughs> oh, Joe, Joe, you are so soft. Uh, no, I'm not soft. I, Joe, my, that was thank my you, exact man. reasoning. As soon thank as I heard movie and it was the Warriors, something yeah, but, from the 80s. But that's of course not that's the rules. Small. The, so the whole reason to write it down is so we can't listen to all each other, everybody's reasoning yeah. on why they picked it. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that, but right. I also but, believe you ah, you're that soft. Right. It's over. <laughs> all right, here we go. So Mike has two. Carmen has two. Joe has two. Gio has one. All right. Mm. That's where we stand right now. That's, Game rolls that's on. Hard. Make sure you write your answers down. I got it. Uh, this one has a graph, and it has how couples met 1930 to 2024. And it's a moving graph that shows all the different things. It says bar and restaurant, neighborhood, school, college, all that stuff. And then the retweet and the quote on it is from the person who's on the bone. And it says, where did y'all meet yours? Done. Where did y'all meet yours? Geo's done. 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 Mike's done. Pap Pap's done. Writing it down per the rules. <laughs> Already done. written. Carmen's done. Geo. Yeah. You could tie it up here. Who do you have? That is Dizzy. You say that's Dizzy. Damn. That's a good one. Mm. Carmen. <laughs> who does not have Dizzy, apparently. <laughs> you could win it all right here. It might not be Dizzy. No, she can't. Yes. Yes, 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 you can. Yeah. The last I, one was disqualified. No, no you were disqualified. You were disqualified. Oh, you were disqualified. We God. got the yeah. point. Oh, my they God. all have theirs written down. What a joke, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks when you get caught cheating. <laughs> Carmen, <laughs> Carmen, what did you write down on your paper? I was, I was in between two, but what I wrote down, Greg off the mic. Okay. Oh. Pap, pap. Mm. You could win it all right here. Yes. Who did you write down on your paper? I wrote down Monica. You said Monica. Mike Calta. Now, if you wrote down the proper answer, let's see it. You could win. Say it and show it. I don't think you wrote it down again. Come look at it, jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do you have? Spikel Jackson. You say Spikel Jackson. Geo gets a point and ties the game. Oh, that was oh, it. Oh, we are all tied up. Two to two to two to two. Rally time. Rally time. Uh, all right. Your next one. What does this say here? Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, oh, well. Okay. It has uh, Robert Downey Jr. It's a gift, and he's saying to get out and vote. Okay, that's what it says underneath. Get out and vote. And the tweet is, why do professional athletes, actors, and musicians care if we vote or not? Hashtag election 2024. Oh, very nondescript. Right? One more time. Uh, it has a uh, gif of Robert Downey Jr. And underneath uh, him, it says, get out and vote. Like it's on the gif. It's part of that. And then the tweet from the person who is on the Bone staff says, why do professional athletes, actors, and musicians care if we vote or not hashtag election 2024 done geo is done i'm done pap pap is done done carmen is done done mike kelta is done may i remind you please write down your answers <laughs> all right <laughs> geo with the comeback could win it all right here oh that would be a comeback oh. that would be a dodgers comeback thank you who you have I wrote down on my paper, Spike. You say Spike. Pap Pap. Yes. You could win it all right here, old man. Yep. Who you got? <laughs> I wrote down on my paper, <laughs> Spike. Oh. oh. Carmen, who did you write down on your paper? I did not write down Spike. Okay. I wrote down Dizzy. Dizzy. Okay. My Kelta, you could win it all right here if your computer future paper thing works properly and you wrote down the right answer and it did go back two days. All right. Who do you have? I registered on my digital notebook. <laughs> One Javier Poussois. JP. No point! Oh! That 
was Johnny B. Oh, that was Johnny B. Getting political. Everybody's still in the game. Still in the game. Johnny, oh, what? here we go. Here we go. All Let me right, delete that right, one. Right. We're going to the next one. Do I have to all write right. this one down? What's that? Do I have to write this one down? You, no, you no, have no. to write all of them oh, down. So the you don't. Do I have to go trick or treating tonight? No. All right. Now I'm going to let you know <laughs> this one. Your next tweet. It says, I effing love watching scary S. But they wrote out the S word. Obviously, I can't say it on air. I effing love watching scary S. Done. Now I'm terrified of everything, though. And all my lights will be on all night. And it has a scared face emoji. Done. Oh, done. No, t- changing it and done. Okay, okay. Changing it and done. I'm fine, Amanda. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What is that? What is happening? No, no, no. I don't want to. Amanda brought me breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Just rude. you? Yeah. Oh, rude. Wow. Oh, rude. <laughs> good job. I mean, you I should have heard job. what he said <laughs> after. <laughs> About this, the trick or treating. This bitch wants to go trick or treating. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've yeah. never, never called you that word ever. He goes, never called you that word. He goes, he, ever. you know what he said? He goes, she doesn't even need a mask no. for trick or treating. Oh, oh, that's what he said. Oh, oh, he yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. So hurtful. No one thinks you're more beautiful than me. <laughs> Come on, now. Sure. Terrible. <laughs> he goes, I hope we go four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you why you got the bad end of that. She brought you breakfast. She's the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's start over. Uh, did anybody answer no, yet? No, I don't even I'm know done. what you yeah, said. I'm done. Oh, done. I was too busy eating breakfast. What did you say? Do, do you know the tweet or something no? about S? Uh, it says, I effing love watching scary S, but they wrote out that word. Now I'm terrified of everything, though, and all my lights will be on all night. And then it has a scared, like, big eyes emoji. Done. Done. You're done. done. Pap, pap, yeah. done. Yeah. Carmen, done. done. Geo, done. Mm-hmm. All right. Here he comes, the comeback king. Mm. Here he comes, the comeback king. Geo, mm. who do you have? I wrote down on my paper, Monica. You said it's Monica. Pap, pap, who do you say it is? I wrote down on my paper, Monica. You say Monica. Carmen, who do you think it is? I wrote down on my paper, Monica. Mike Kelta, who did you write down on your switchboard over there? I digitally imprinted. (laughs) (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Dizzy. You said dizzy. Congratulations. You don't have to play anymore. You're out of the game. (laughs) Woo! That was Monica. Go ahead and eat your little snack over there. Right. That's Monica. So we have a three-way tie. We have a three-way tie. Mike is out. <laughs> At one point, he thought he won the game. <laughs> <laughs> I had zero. I had none. You had none. All right. Here we go. Listen up, everybody but Mike. So who will... Our- I'm still going to play in my heart. So who will our coach be next year? Hashtag Bucks. Done. Mike's out. Done. It's down to Gio, Carmen, and Pap Pap. Carmen is done. This is this is exciting as the World Series. <sighs> done. Pap Pap's done. Mm-hmm. Do you need me to read it again? Yeah. So, <laughs> who will our coach be next year? Hashtag oh. Bucks. D- uh, switching. Oh, switching, switching. We have a switch. Oh, Can I ask? It's a born problem. Lowercase B or uppercase B on the hashtag? No. Uh, I, w- I can give that information because you're all getting the same information. Thank you. Geo's asking questions. That's fair. Capital B. Oh. Change my answer. Capital B. Change my answer. Done. Capital B. Oh. You're out of the game. Mike is out of the game. Doesn't matter <laughs> if you change your answer. Yeah, cheaters never win. Also, you don't even need to write it down because you're out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want practice. That's all right. Everybody's done. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Let's go on the count of three. Everyone except for Mike. Well, I'm going to do it. Anyway. No, no, you're you out. Can't. You're <laughs> out. And you have a mouthful of eggs. So stop <laughs> talking, please. Got caught cheating. On the count of three, I will go one, two, three, and then you guys answer. And I'll tell you whether you're one or not. Ready? One, two, three. So Johnny Mike Olivero. Again, who did you say? Johnny B. <laughs> Who'd you say? Johnny B. Who'd you say, Carmen? Mike Olivero. I said suck it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen. Yeah. You're out of the game. Oh! 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 Me, baby. Johnny B. Who'd you change it from? Yeah. I, I had Jen Senning. I changed uh, it two John. times, by the way. Well, you got to let me know when you change it. Well, yeah. I know. Well, I, but, well, you, you oh, DQ. <laughs> no, DQ. Right there. I don't know if that's right. Hey, Tampa Bay. <laughs> All right. 
For the love of God, Martine's here. Wrap it up. I know. <laughs> this has a picture that has a microphone in front of in front of a computer screen and a board, and it says Hail Mary mode. That's it. That's the tweet. A microphone. A microphone. It's like a little setup, you know, like right here, where it has a microphone in front of a computer, and there's a board there. I can tell you both. It's not the board in the studio. Done. And it says, Ooh. Hail Mary mode. Oh, Done. I know. Carmen, it- you're out of the game. I know. Question. Can anybody say the Hail Mary? Yeah. Hail Joe. Mary, Besides full Joe. of grace. The Lord is with thee. We're open 24-7. <laughs> you. Not you. Oh, sorry. No, that's all I know. No, yeah, I don't know that. I never went. Do you? Carmen? Uh, no. God, no. I think I know it. God knows she said. You know it? Yeah. Go ahead. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed art thou fruit of mm. thy womb, Jesus. I'm close. Close. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Wow. Someone's going to heaven with me. No, nah, my, yeah, my, my grandma used to make me go to Catholic. Yep. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> Catholic <laughs> Church. Did you go to Catholic? Yeah. <laughs> It was terrifying. You know what's up. Yeah. Let him who have understanding reckon the number of the beast. Oh, or it is a human number. <laughs> You're just doing it's number is 666. <laughs> Iron Man. Uh, May right. the Lord be with him. Uh, come on. This is the longest game I'm done. in the history right, I'm I'm done. of who's tweet. Win. You're both done. Yeah. Suck it, Joe. You You're cheater. both done. I'm Joe. Cheater, yes. Don't normally play. No. Doing very well. Yeah. You're down to the final two. Yeah. Who do you have? I went with Johnny B, but I am not confident. Okay. You say Johnny B. Mm-hmm. Geo, you had zero. These guys are crushing you. But you're the champ. The champ always comes back. There's levels to this. Who do you have? I went with Johnny B. I'm very confident. You shouldn't be. Neither of you are right. That was oh, Will. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, right. One more. One more. Will. One more. It was, it, was it's a tie. it was an old one, Carmen. Oh, before okay. He, okay. Right. Well, he everything. <laughs> before he coonsed out. All right. All right. <laughs> this is your last one. Okay. This has a picture of the Simpsons fence thing and it has uh, Chief Wiggums and Ralphie and this that and it has Bart and it says El Barto was here and the tweet says El Barto was here spelled was W-U-Z just like it is on the sign okay so what, do you, what do you mean the fence thing like the uh, the it's a picture of the fence I believe it's over in okay. or, uh, the done, what you done, call done, it Universal done, 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 I believe done, it's over in Universal done, if that helps done done, that helps. done for the win all right yeah, for the win on the yes. count of three, you done? Yes. Yep. All right. We got to get a winner here. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. John Senning. Corey Cardinal. Drew Garoppolo. John Senning. Joe? Yes. Gio just won. Ah! Ah! The comeback. Yes. Here we go. The comeback kid. The champ is here. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> the champ is here. <laughs> Long way to go. Wow, that was good, man. Right. That was a lot of controversy. Yes. Geo, you and I will pick a line. No, no wait, you will no, not pick you? a line. You are, oh. All right, Geo, you pick I a line. I pick line six. <laughs> line six. Good morning. Who's this? Uh, Adam. Adam, uh, please hold on. We'll get you during the break, and we'll hook you up with the prize, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, Galvin, What's you up? pick a line, too, because you was, never get to pick. That was a thrill ride. It I'll was. go with line one, because I'm one. the king of integrity. Good morning. Who's this? Hi, this is Stephanie. Hi, uh, Stephanie. I'm going to put you on hold. You also want to. Hi, guys. Hi. Hold on. Carmen, line one and line six. There you go. Got it. All right. We got to take a break. Martin Gramatica in the studio next on 1025 The Bone. Whoa. 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 Carmen, you get that? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know they cursed in that song. Oh, uh, I didn't know like that. It was so hard C, too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you all right? Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm stressing today. What's wrong with you? Is it, is it unclean time? No, it's just there's a lot happening and just a lot happening. Oh, I, I feel like there's something we should know. No, so the computer that I record the show on, for whatever reason, um, we have too much stuff on right. our drive. So right. it just keeps, and it just stops recording uh-huh. in the middle of episodes. So then I have to go grab it from the skimmer and pull it, this and that. But it puts me behind and then, you, you know, I miss your text, and then I got to make sure the commercials are lined oh, up. Man. And then I'm getting ready for football picks, and I thought Ian sent me the wrong week, but he didn't. It's just all, it's just a different schedule. All right, so. yeah, yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you asked, and I tell. <laughs> uh, good morning, Martine. I'm sorry you have to be brought into the show going Garmin and her vomiting. <laughs> 
Good morning. <laughs> what uh, what are you doing for Halloween today? Well, my daughter broke her collarbone, so oh. no, she did two days ago, or what? yesterday. Playing two days football? Ago. Well, kind of football. Playing catch with her brother, twisted wrong, landed on the turf field. Oh and, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. no. So, yeah. Poor kid. So yeah. So we're uh, we're probably not gonna go trick or treating, which. Oh, so then that's you, what I got to do is break my daughter's hang- collarbone. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking you want to come hang out with me. <laughs> yes, no. yes, I do. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm not into it, man. I don't like Halloween at all. I don't either. I, it's but- scary. I don't. I don't. It's scary. It's uh, it's fat inducing with the candy, <laughs> and um, I don't know. I don't like. I don't like blood, guts. I don't like nothing. I can't wait till tomorrow when everybody takes your Halloween stuff down and where it's Christmas time, baby. We can skip Halloween. I, yeah, I agree. Skip it. I'm not a fan. I'm not a skip fan. It. Not a fan. Skip it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Martin Gramatica is here with us. Will you, where will you be for Monday Night Football? We you will, travel? No, no, no. We'll do it from here. From here. We'll do it. Where, where from, do you do it from one book or do you go from the stadium? Like, what do you do? We used to do it from a studio. Yeah. Uh, but now we're doing it from my house. So we, ha- we have a set up there. Really? Yes. Oh, nice. And there's a chance that we might, like, all three of us be in our own homes, and then we can all watch the same feed wow. and do it. So they, they made it a lot easier for the away games. Yeah, yeah, for the, yeah, away yeah, games. yeah, yeah. The home games were at the home stadium. Home games are there, yeah. Yep. I, I, I'm i going to one buck place for the uh, for the game on Monday night. They're oh, doing nice. a watch party there. So I thought that would be pretty cool. I didn't know if you guys were over there or not. They didn't invite us, so we're going to. They did not. I'll just hang out at the house. (laughs) Not invite you. Well, nobody could understand Carlos anyway. So, So it's funny. We did a remote in uh, uh, Spring Hill for a friend of mine that has a restaurant, the the Cody's there. Uh huh. And she's like, you know, that's pretty country. It's not really a lot of Spanish. Spring Hill, yeah. So she's like, it didn't really work out for her. I was Uh trying to, like, Help her out, you yeah, know. Yeah, like, let's get, get the more people in, there, but yeah. everybody's kind of looking at us. Why are you guys screaming in Spanish? So, <laughs> so it, kind of, it, it a little bit backfired for yeah, it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Spring Hill is the country, it, big country, for big sure. Country. Yeah, yeah, no, Spanish did not go over well there. Uh, Martin Gramatica is here. You know, we had somebody call in uh, this weekend or this week and say, you know, thank, thank. To us, they went into lifeguard image and get scanned. Very upset that you were not there when they went there. Uh, I said, "Well, you know, the guy has other commitments yeah. in life." Tell him I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I had a guy yesterday that was super excited to see me there. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, of course, you're super excited to see you. <laughs> the guy that called, he signed up for the five year deal. Yeah, yeah. nice. I mean, nice. once you get in there and you get you get scanned, you realize you need to do this every year. The technology didn't exist before in life, and now we have it. We should use it. And not only that. Uh, what happens if something starts after your scan? That's right. why the programs where we're having that success in capturing things early because now the follow-up scan will catch it. So right. that's why it's so important to scan every year. Right. right, right. Oh, trust me, I know. And uh, and if you do catch it, I, I hear all the time in the commercials about how many cancers are uh, are so treatable if you get them early. Right. You know? And if you have a baseline of nothing or a baseline of something and you're able to scan every year and check it out, that certainly is a, a better than not knowing about it at all. Well, the peace of mind, too, once you get a scan and you see everything's fine, yeah. just to have that peace of mind and, okay, if something hurts or I have a pain here, it's nothing serious. And now if I know I'm going to scan next year, if something were to be serious, then we're going to catch it. So, And from a point of view where everything was not fine, it's also, uh, the, you know, it's not so bad. You find out you got to get right. your stuff together, and next thing you know, you're uh, you're going to the doctor and you're getting your stuff together. Right, right. No, that's, a ben- that's the biggest benefit of it is if there is something going on, catching it early is, is the key. Like yeah. I said, the earlier you catch cancer, the better percentage you have of surviving it. Carmen, do you have the, uh, the football standings? Do we want to go over those before we do our picks this week? We can. I do. I mean, Martin's not here on Monday, so he doesn't get to hear. So, yeah, might as well. Okay. So, in last place with zero wins. Zero. Oh. Zero wins. What a two, loser. And two losses. Oh. What a loser. Ugh, Mike Kelto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, next, with one win, one loss, myself. With <laughs> Nope, you're the loser. With two wins, one loss, Martin and Ian. Two players. With two wins, zero losses, Galvin. Hey. With three wins, two losses, Geo. And still leading and winning our football picks. Give me the Greek. 2024-2025 season, right. Joe, Pat, Pat, D. That's right. With three wins, one loss. Mm. Now, have you, learned, losers. have you learned how to uh, put the camera on yourself yet? Yes, okay. that's what I'm doing right now, Mike. Uh, I mean, if you ever question whether or not Joe is the fashion icon, just take a look at what he's wearing today. There is no way in the world any of us should be pulling that off. Today. A pew cat, a yellow shirt, <laughs> yeah. and yellow glasses? He's what? wearing a, a yellow Clash t-shirt, right. of which he cut the sleeves off mm-hmm. and put over a brown t-shirt. Right. 
uh, with his yeah, his puke hat and his glasses and his his <laughs> jeans and his brown shoes. No one no one else could be able to pull that off. But can is I, he pulling it off, or right. is he just wearing it? <laughs> can <laughs> I? There's a big can, difference. Can I also point out something? You're the only one calling him a fashion yeah. icon. I'm, and I'm you the only are not a fashion icon. Yeah. But you, don't, you have no idea. Like, I know that I'm not a fashion icon. I'm I not agree fashionable. With that. I so agree I'm not with that. making judgment on people. That, he looks like he got dressed in the dark. Well, yes. I did no. get dressed in the dark. Bird no. shirts no. and Yankee does, does shirts. Mirror? Does he have a mirror? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got accessories. <laughs> he's got an he's accessorized. He's a fashion icon. He's got a puke Most hat. Most fashion icons Joe are laughed at at first, Fine. then regarded, highly regarded years are later. Are they? Yes. Name one. Borderline. Home, right, yeah. yeah. Like if he was standing outside with a cup, I might put some change in it. <laughs> yeah. Joe, no, no, there's no homeless. There's no homeless guys with uh, with class shirts that have been handmade mm-hmm. like yeah. yours. <laughs> Don't let them bring you down. You're the Coco <laughs> Chanel of our day. Don't you normally wear the cutoff shirt under the the long sleeve shirt? Yeah, when you're not a fashion icon. Oh, okay. When you're not a yeah, fashion I, icon. I, I get yep. it. Mm-hmm. I don't mind. Right <laughs> Plus, it's only 95 degrees outside. Not in here. <laughs> and also, in he's here. got brittle bones and, and thin blood. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's uh, start the football picks for week number nine. Nine, I say. Uh, I'll start. We'll go clockwise around the room. Let's start at Texans at the Jets tonight. I The Jets have to win a game, but they're not. I'm going to take the Texans. Joe? I'm going Texans, Mike. Galvin? Texans. Martin? I'm going to try the Jets. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm gonna the try. old booger eater. <laughs> uh, uh, Gio? I'm taking the Texans. Carmen? Jets at home. Really? What did Ian take? Wow. Uh, Ian took Texans. The Let's Saints. go, Carmen. <laughs> What's that? Let's go, Carmen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're the same, Martin. <laughs> the Saints at the Panthers. I will take the Panthers. Joe. Also going Saints. Galvin. Wait. Saints. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you don't make sense. No, I'm yeah. sure. uh, Saints. Uh, Martin. Saints. Gio. Saints. Carmen. Saints. Jesus. Uh, Ian. Panthers. The Commanders at the Giants. I will take the Commanders. Joe. Commanders, Michael. Galvin. Commanders. Martin. Commanders. Geo. Commanders. Carmen. Commanders. And Ian. Giants. Oh. The Dolphins at the Bills. I will take the Bills. Pep Pep. Bills. Galvin. Bills. Martin. Bills. Geo. Bills. Carmen. Bills. And Ian. Bills. Chargers at the Browns. I will take. I will take the Chargers, Joe. Taking the Browns, Michael. Galvin. You nailed it when you said, <laughs> this is a weird one, yeah. uh, but I'm going to go Chargers. Martin. Chargers. Gio. Let's eat some W's. I'm <laughs> taking the Browns. Jameis Winston. He's on fire. Uh, Carmen. I'm going Browns at home. And uh, Ian. Browns. The Patriots and the Titans. I will take the Titans, Joe. Taking the Titans as well. Galvin. Patriots. Martin. They both lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> Patriots. Yeah. Geo. Titans. Carmen. Oh, I am going Patriots. Mm. And uh, Ian? Ian went Patriots. Titans are 1-6 and six in their own 3 at home. <laughs> Colts and the Vikings. I will take the Vikings. Joe. Taking the Vikings. Galvin. Vikings. Martin. Vikings. Geo. Vikings. Carmen. Vikings. Ian. Vikings. Cowboys at the Falcons. I take the Falcons. Pap Pap. Falcons. Galvin. Falcons. Martin. I'm going to go Cowboys. Geo. Falcons. Carmen. Falcons. Ian. Cowboys. Because you played for him? No, because I just. Want them to win yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over the Saints. We need the Saints to lose. Falcons, By the way, Falcons, I, ju- Falcons. I just I just realized something that uh, Flacco is uh, starting for the Colts. I know it kind of makes me want to <laughs> take I, the Colts. Forty year old Flacco. I almost took the Colts because of that, but he may tap out. Oh, he won't. Dude, he that, won't. That's crazy. He won't. That's a bitch move, right? Like oh, that's it's a, you're done. You're done. Yeah, right. Big time. As a player, I would yeah. imagine. And, like, and your leader. As a player, your leader. leader in the face. Yeah, of the, yeah, yeah that's wild. Quarter, I've never and, seen that in my life. And yeah. he's like, I don't see what the big deal is. I was tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, he's an old man. See you later. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, the other guy. Twenty-one year old. Yeah, Richardson. Richardson. Yeah. 
He ta literally tapped out, tapped his helmet, came out of the game, and they were like, what is happening here? Yeah. Like, He's not injured. He said he was tired. Yeah. 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 So they a little break. No. So they said, no, you're done. Flacco starting. Okay. Yeah, good. Well, now he gets the rest he deserves. <laughs> uh, the Raiders at, where were we? Did we get our yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Raiders right. at the Bengals. Uh, I will take, I will take the, uh, I will take the Raiders. Joe. Bengals. Galvin. Bengals. Martin. Bengals. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Bengals. Because you're picking all the wrong ones. I know. That's why I'm losing. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> Bengals. And Ian. Raiders. Listen, uh -huh. it, listen, it could happen at any right. time. It's just you're going. It's so funny whenever you say yours and then we all say the same thing. Uh, Broncos at the Ravens. Ravens. Pap, pap. Ravens. Galvin. Is Jackson out? Knee and back and all kind of stuff, but I'm still taking the Ravens. Uh, Martin. Ravens. Geo. Ravens. Carmen. Ravens. Ian. Ravens. The Bears at the Cardinals. I will take the Bears. Pap, pap. Bears. Galvin. Cardinals. Martin. Cardinals. Geo. Cardinals. Carmen. Cardinals. Ian. Cardinals. Ooh. The Rams at the Seahawks. I will take the Rams. Joe. Rams. Galvin. Rams. Martin. Rams. Geo. Seahawks. Carmen. Rams. Ethan. Ian. <laughs> Seahawks. <laughs> uh, the Lions at the Packers. Ooh. Lions. 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 Carmen. Lions. Ian. Lions. Jaguars at the Eagles. I will take the Eagles. 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 And finally, your Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Chiefs. Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football. <laughs> Chieftains. Oh, not a fan. Also Chieftains. I'm a fan of money. Chiefs. <laughs> Bucks all the way. Oh. Bucks. Oh. Bucks. Oh. Bucks. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Bet Frankie. I'll bet him. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch. Geo. I hate this game. I hate I this know, game. I know. I gotta go. Chiefs. Carbon. Chiefs. And Ian. Chiefs. Only one true fan. Yeah. <laughs> one fan. Let's go, Frankie. Fantasy. <laughs> Chiefs up. No way. Come on, Bucks. Uh, I mean, it's just. It'd be great if they can. I mean, it just. I mean, oof. We got to believe. Oof. Okay. Got to start with believing. I don't know. Chiefs do pretty I, well I on believe. the stage. I believe they will not win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, they're eight. are they going to go eight? No, they're due. They're not playing great, but. Ah. <sighs> Eight one like three five eight two five two two two. That is a number to go over there and get scanned at Lifeguard Imaging. Don't wait any longer. You can always go to lifeguardimaging dot com. Eight one three five eight two five two two two. You can see Martine. You can get scanned and you can get peace of mind. Martine, thank you. Thank you guys. Can you see Martine? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding.